I'm in GT, my brother is Broly, synopsis, traveling through the world of Dragon Ball, Bubba discovers that he is Broly's twin, big brother, if you get the strongest training system at the beginning, can you get 10 times the return when you are bound to the training of candidates, so what are you waiting for, bind Broly immediately, at this point, Broly began to bind each protagonist for training, and the protagonist improved himself to lie flat and became stronger every moment, Broly, my brother Broly, the new king of Saiyan, who doesn't agree, son Goku, Bubba is so strong that it gets stronger every day in the sun, Vegeta, a mere inferior Saiyan, why is it like drinking water to improve your combat power, number 18, Bubba is the strongest man I've ever met, number 21, Bubba, I want you to have a monkey, Vados, master Bubba, I just want to be your angel, chapter 1 the strongest training system, Dragon Ball World, Wampa Star, SHHHHH, two figures quickly shuttled above the mountain wall, and in the area in front of them there was a huge alien beast fleeing, but in the blink of an eye, the two figures caught up with the alien beast, in the next second, two figures suddenly appeared at the head of the alien beast, ha, the violent shout resounded, and the fists of the two figures fell directly and bombarded the head of the alien beast, with a click, the head of the alien beast exploded, and its huge body fell to the ground, brother, I won, floating to the ground, Broly looked high-spiritedly at the man who looked similar to himself, with a look of pride and pride, yes, hearing this, Bupper smiled lightly, pointed to the forehead of the alien beast not far away, and said, you are looking, following Bupper's expectations, there was clearly a blood hole in the dented area of Broly, and green blood was constantly spilling out of it, that is, seeing this, Broly's pupils shrank, and then the whole person's face changed slightly, and he said in despair, it's still big brother, you have a better plan, brother, I lost, saying that, Broly hung his head like a deflated ball, looking depressed and helpless, ha ha, seeing this, Bupper laughed, stepped forward and patted Broly on the shoulder, it's not a shame to lose to me, it's nothing, Broly, you still need to work harder, let's go, take the alien beast back, and I'll bake it for you, okay, big brother, hearing this, Broly nodded heavily, and immediately stepped forward to carry the strange beast the size of a hill, immediately afterwards, the two brothers no longer stayed in place, and galloped away in the distance, soon, Bupper and Broly successfully returned to a cave, rumbling, rumbling, while the two were eating and drinking the flesh and blood of roasted alien beasts, the outer atmosphere suddenly turned red, and it was clear that a huge universe spaceship was coming fast. Brother, is that dad coming to pick us up? Seeing this scene, Broly was stunned for a moment, and then said excitedly, Paragus, how to say the plot is about to start? Bupper's eyes flashed brightly, but his inner emotions were quite solemn. He is a traveler. Quinn became Broly's big brother, but unfortunately the initial combat power was only 10 points, and there was no super bloodline to add him. I thought I would be destroyed by Frieza along with Vegeta, but I didn't expect Paragus to bring him and Broly out at a critical moment. Of course, Bupper knew very well that Paragus' target was Broly, but he was too similar to Broly, and King Vegeta sealed Broly's anger at that time, which led Paragus to steal both of them. After arriving at Wampa, Broly and Bupper's chi was completely revealed, Bupper became synonymous with waste material, and Paragus even tried to kill him more than once. But fortunately there is the existence of Broly, with the super bloodline and closeness to Bupper, once Paragus wants to attack Bupper. Broly will be run away. Several times Paragus was nearly killed by Broly, but nothing happened to the weak Bupper. Even Broly, who was running wild, would not shoot him, which shows the respect and recognition of Bupper in his heart. As Bupper grew up, he quickly grew to 5000 combat power with the help of Saiyan's ability to improve his strength every time he recovered from a serious injury. After that, Paragus was no match for their brothers at all, and no longer dared to think about Bupper and Broly. Paragus met some of the surviving Saiyans three years ago and left Wampo to prepare for his dominance in the universe, at that time, he was going to bring Broly and Bupper together, but Bupper refused without hesitation, Bupper knew very well that Frieza died three years ago, and if he left with Paragus, he would be 100% against the Z fighters on earth, although his strength has improved over the years, he has even reached about 100,000 combat power, but Bupper is very clear that he is by no means the opponent of Son Goku, Vegeta and others, even Broly is difficult to fully grasp the super transfer mode, and the protagonist who encounters those who hang up is only the fate of being defeated. Now three years have passed, and Paragus has returned again. Not surprisingly, a new Vegeta star should have been established, and even the existence of the Earth has been found. Ding, the strongest training system is on. Suddenly, a mechanically mixed voice resumes in Bupper's ears and wakes him up. System, Goldfinger. Slightly stunned, Bupper's breathing was three-pointed in an instant. He didn't care to look at the rapidly descending universe spaceship, and hurriedly asked in a low voice, System, tell us about your abilities, ding, the strongest cultivation system, the host can bind subordinates for cultivation, and each time the subordinates improve, the host can get 10 times the return, hint, host bound subordinates must have a loyalty of more than 90, hint, loyalty 130 hostile, 3150 neutral, 
5180 friendly, 8190 loyal, 91100 die hard, cultivate subordinates and return tenfold. Taking a breath, Bubba instantly became excited. If this is the case, then he is really developed. If he cultivates hundreds of loyal subordinates, even if each person increases his combat power by 1000 points a year, he can also increase his combat power by tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, or even millions. System, how do I check loyalty? Bubba couldn't wait to ask. But he also subconsciously looked at Broly beside him. He has been in Wampus since he was a child, and Broly is the only person beside him who believes in him. If Broly's loyalty is enough, then Broly can be bound completely. The stronger Broly will be, the stronger he will be. Ding. Personal panel is on. In the next second, Bubba only felt that his eyes flashed, and a translucent panel appeared in front of him. Bubba. Race. Saiyan. Bloodline. Inferior Saiyan. Combat. Index. 500,000. Transformation. Ape form. Ability. Prince tactics. Final flash. Good. Good. After reading his message, Bubba turned his gaze to Broly beside him. The next second, Broly's message also appeared in front of his eyes. Broly. Race. Saiyan. Bloodline. Inferior super bloodline. Combat power index. 1 million to 10 million. Transformation. Furious state. Super Saiyan. Quint super mode. Ability. Prince tactics. Final flash. Loyalty. 99. Chapter 2 bind Broly. Reward super competition. 99 loyalty. Broly, as expected of my brother. After reading Broly's message, Bupper's eyes suddenly showed joy and excitement. 99 loyalty. That means you can bind Broly. The stronger Broly is, the stronger he can become. Thinking of this, Bupper immediately asked, System, how do I bind my subordinates? Ding. The host only needs to make his subordinates swear allegiance to himself. Hint, the more sincere the allegiance is, the greater the reward the host will get after being bound. Hint, the host can get rewards and pass it on to bound subordinates. Hearing this, Bupper nodded thoughtfully. The more sincere the reward, the greater the reward, which also means that each subordinate can also be rewarded by binding himself. And this reward can also be passed on to bound subordinates, which also means that if Broly is loyal to himself, he will be rewarded, and this reward can also be given to Broly. Thinking of this, Bupper immediately became excited, looked aside Broly and said, Broly, let me ask you something, brother, what's the matter? Hearing this, Broly was stunned and looked at Bupa in confusion. You are willing to be loyal to me, without giving up, Bupa said bluntly. Follow my orders from now on, not Paragus. This, hearing this, Broly was dumbfounded. It is taboo for Bupa to call Paragus by name, which shows how strongly he is dissatisfied with this titular father. But Broly also understood why Bupa was dissatisfied. Even though he was still young, he still vaguely remembered that Paragus wanted to kill Bupa more than once. Combined with the arrival of Paragus' ship at the moment, Broly vaguely seemed to have thought of why Bupper was like this. After all, they are likely to leave Wampa, and then Paragus is afraid that they will separate their brothers, and may even secretly attack Bupper again. Thinking of this, Broly clenched his fists suddenly, looked at Bupper and said, Brother, I am willing to swear allegiance to you. Whether it is before, now or in the future, I will only listen to your command, eldest brother, not my father's manipulation of me. Ding. Die hard Broly swears allegiance. Will the host be bound? The system prompt sounded again. Bind. Hearing this, Bupper spoke quickly. Just kidding. I managed to convince Broly. How could I fall short of this? Ding. The binding is successful. The loyalty of the subordinate Broly is detected to be 100%. And the host Super Saiyan's transformation and the non-damaged version of Kaioken will be rewarded 10 times. Super Saiyan transformation. 10 times the damage-free version Kaioken. After reading the reward, Bupper's breathing accelerated again. He only has 500,000 combat power now which can be said to be extremely weak within the universe, but it's different now. With Super Saiyan's transformation, his combat power can reach 25 million. Even if it's not as good as Sunny Goku who killed Freezer in Namek three years ago, it's just a lack of normal combat power. After that, as long as Broly continues to improve, he can also improve along with it, and it will be returned tenfold. Thinking of this, Bupper didn't turn his eyes to Broly, and murmured eagerly, if I find a place for Broly to cultivate for a while, then my combat power will explode. Broly, after a while, Bupper came back to his senses, looked at Broly and said, Put your head over, I have a fighter to teach you. Injury free version 10 times Kaioken. With the existence of this method, Broly's combat power can also be greatly improved. Okay, big brother. Without hesitation, Broly put his head straight to where Bupper was, and he had 100% trust in Bupper. Seeing this situation, Bupper didn't hesitate, directly put his hand on Broly's forehead, and communicated with the system in his heart. System, teach Broly the tenfold Kaioken of the non-injury version. Ding. The host can only teach Broly five times the unharmed version of Kaioken, or ten times the basic version of Kaioken. Is that so? Frowning, Bupper really didn't think that the ability he passed down would shrink. However, the 10x Kaioken basic version is completely incomparable to the non-damaged version. Thinking of this, Bupper immediately said, 
teach the unharmed version of Kyokan. Ding, inheritance is open. The non-damaged version is five times the Kyokan inheritance. Ding. The inheritance is complete. With the sound of the system prompt, Papa withdrew his hand and looked at Broly, who was sitting with his eyes closed. After about a quarter of an hour, Broly suddenly opened his eyes and looked at Papa in surprise, brother, I, rumbling. Before Broly could finish speaking, a deafening roar resounded. Looking at the reputation, it can be seen that Paragus Universe spaceship has arrived and landed directly in the area not far from the cave. With the opening of the door of the Universe spaceship, it can be seen that Paragus led several aliens to come in stride. Broly, Bupa, my son, I finally see you again. Laughing out loud, Paragus came to Bupa and Broly with a look of excitement and excitement. Dad, seeing this, Broly immediately bowed and saluted. Bupa, on the other hand, stood still. A man who wanted to kill you countless times as a child, but Bupa never regarded him as his father. Um, Paragus saw this scene in his eyes, resisted his dissatisfaction and anger towards Bupa, looked aside Broly and said, Broly, Bupa. I have prepared a gift for your father. Saying that, Paragus waved his hand, and the aliens on the side could be seen quickly stepping forward. When a box was opened, a golden headband and necklace appeared in it. Paragus's eyes flashed, and then he said with a smile, Papa, Broly, this is only because of the father's wandering. Universe found a treasure for you to improve your cultivation. You can choose one to bring. Seeing this, Papa sneered. How could he not know what was in this box? In the plot, Paragus controls Broly with these two things. Now that Paragus gave it to himself and Broly, the wolf's ambition is clear, and it is clear that he wants to control himself and Broly. Thank you dad. At this time, Broly didn't think too much, and subconsciously reached out to get the headband. Seeing this, Paragus's one eye flashed, and his inner excitement became more and more intense. As long as Broly wears the headband, the latter will be completely controlled by himself, and no one can stop his great cause and plan at that time. Broly, put it down. At the critical moment, Bupa's voice resounded quietly, Paragus. Do you really think you can control Broly and me with these two pieces of trash? Chapter 3 Paragus Self-Inflicted Suffering What? Hearing this, Broly held his headband for a while, then looked at Bupa and Paragus subconsciously. Immediately afterwards, Broly released the headband and retracted his hand. Although he didn't know what was going on, Broly believed that it was absolutely impossible for Bupa to deceive himself. Instead, it was Paragus. Broly knew very well how the latter treated the two brothers since childhood. Bupa, you. This scene made Paragus dumbfounded. Unexpectedly? He had only been away for three years, and Broly's obedience to Bupa had risen to such a point. The main thing is that without Broly wearing the headband, all his preparations and plans will not be completed. Thinking of this, Paragus suppressed the anger in his heart and forced a smile. Paragus, my father never wanted to control you and Broly. What do you mean by what you just said? Could it be that the gift brought to you by the father will still harm you? He he. With a cold smile, Bupa glanced at Paragus and said, Paragus, you think you can fool me, saying that? Bupa stepped forward and grabbed Paragus directly, and lifted it directly from the ground. Bupa, what are you doing? Broly, save me. Being imprisoned, Paragus panicked instantly and hurriedly asked Broly for help. Dad, big brother won't hurt you. However, Broly didn't move at the moment, just glanced at Paragus and said lightly. At the same time, Broly also looked at Bupa, not knowing what he was going to do. At this time, Bupa directly reached into Paragus' clothes and began to look for it. No, don't want. Seeing this. Paragus panicked. The controller was in his arms, and if Papa found it, the consequences would be unimaginable. Unfortunately, his struggles were meaningless. Papa soon followed and took a controller out of his arms. After taking a few glances, Papa determined that this thing was the controller of the headband and necklace, and smiled coldly. Dear father, what is this thing? This this. Seeing this, Paragus was dumbfounded for a while, not even knowing what to say. Unable to speak? In this regard, a flash of coldness flashed in Papa's eyes and then he reached out and picked up the headband and necklace on the side and put them on Paragus. After all this was done, Bupa threw it on the ground, picked up the controller in his hand and said, Father, let me see how your preparations are for the past three years. With that said, Bupa pressed the start button directly. No, this scene instantly made Paragus stunned. Before he could say anything, the electric current from the headband and necklace swept out and covered his body. What? What? For a while, screams continued to resume. Paragus rolled on the ground constantly screaming under the power of the headband and necklace. Dad, this scene directly caused Broly to shout angrily. In the next second, Broly's body was violent, and his entire body grew rapidly to three meters high. In an instant, Broly entered a state of anger, 100 million combat power gushing from his body. But unlike before when Broly entered a state of rage, he would lose his mind and run away. At this moment, Broly just stared at Paragus in anger, without the slightest meaning of running away and losing his mind. Ding. Subordinate Broly controls the Quincow bloodline and triggers a tenfold return. K. 
Congratulations to the host for obtaining the second class Quincao bloodline. Ding. The subordinate Broly's combat power is stable at 10 million and triggers a tenfold return. Congratulations to the host for obtaining 100 million combat power. The system prompt sounded loudly, and Bappa only felt a pain all over his body, and his combat power index also soared by 100 million at this moment. Immediately afterwards, the blood vessels in his body were transformed into Quincao. Under such circumstances, Bappa's muscles began to tremble and grow and the originally thin figure was obviously much stronger at this moment. Ha! With a low roar resounding, Bappa's Ausch's golden green air spewed out, and the whole person directly entered the super competition state. In an instant, Bappa's chi swept the entire Wumpa star, 1 billion, 3 billion, 5 billion. After reaching the level of 5 billion, Bappa's chi stopped growing, but the entire Wumpa star has also shaken the earth and shakes the scene of the end of the world. What is that? How can Bappa be so powerful? Seeing this scene, Paragus on the ground was shocked and his eyes were full of incredible and unbelievable colors. Super Saiyan mode. Big Brother completed Super Saiyan transformation. On the other hand, Broly on the side was very excited, his eyes fixed on the blonde Bappa, and he subconsciously clenched his fists and said, too strong. Big Brother is really too strong. After completing Super Saiyan, the power is so powerful, even if I don't use the rage state, the same Super Saiyan form is not the opponent of the Big Brother. At this moment, Broly's eyes were filled with admiration and he was more determined in his heart to follow Bappa. Wu. Opening his eyes, Bappa's eyes flashed, and he glanced at Paragus on the ground, and then he called up the personal panel to check. Bappa. Race. Saiyan. Bloodline. Second class super bloodline. Combat. Index. 100 million. Transformation. Great tape. Super Saiyan. Ability. Kaioken. Prince tactics. Final flash. Secondary super bloodline. There is no anger state, but it can be great tape. And there is no super transmission mode which can be regarded as pros and cons. Underestimated in his heart, Bappa looked at Paragus on the ground and said condescendingly, Father, this is the trash you wanted to kill since you were a child. I've finished the Super Saiyan transformation, and you're still screaming from the bottom of the well. But you are my father after all. I won't kill you. From now on, you can live in Wampa Star. After that, Bappa raised his hand and killed all the aliens in front of him. After doing all this, Bappa smashed the controller in his hand, walked towards the universe spaceship, and said, Broly, let's go. It's time to leave this one per star to conquer the Sea of Stars. Yes, sir. Hearing this, Broly agreed, glanced at Paragus on the ground, and walked directly to follow Bappa. After entering the universe spacecraft, Bappa clearly started it, and then flew directly out of the one per star, and the goal went straight to the new Vegeta star. No, this scene made Paragus, who was relieved, cry out in pain. He didn't want to stay in Wampas. The countless planets in the outside world are what he dreams of, but now he has no possibility of leaving. Chapter 4 New Vegeta, King Turles. New Vegeta Star. Bappa and Broly arrive in outer space in a spacecraft. Looking around, it can be seen that the entire planet has been built to be very similar to the Vegeta Star of the past. In this area, you can feel the aura of many aliens, and even the aura of a dozen Saiyans. However, the aura of these Saiyans is not high. The weak only have more than 1000 combat power and the stronger ones have about 3,000 combat power. Brother, is this the planet Dad built? Looking at the prosperous planet outside the spacecraft, Broly said in surprise. I have lived in Wampa since I was a child. Compared with the desolate scene of Wampa, the new Vegeta star in front of me obviously shocked Broly. Good. Nodding, Bappa said indifferently, this is the new Vegeta star created by Paragus. But unfortunately, the people here are too weak. The maximum combat power is less than 3,000 and they are not even Paragus's opponents. That's why Paragus can rule this place. It's just stupid to try to provoke Vegeta and Kakarot and others with just this power. Kakarot. Hearing this, Broly's breath was obviously violent. Although Broly's strength has gradually stabilized under the cultivation of Bappa over the years, and even his own emotions will not go wild at will, but he still has a lot of obsession with Kakarot. It doesn't have to be. Seeing this, Bappa patted Broly on the shoulder, and then said, I'll take you to Earth to meet that Kakarot after the matter of the new Vegeta star is settled. Your Kunkau mode has not been completely perfected, and a large part of the reason is because of your inner obsession with Kakarot. When you go to Earth this time, as long as you can break this obsession, you can completely master the super transfer mode, and there is even the possibility of further development. Earth, where is Kakarot? With a flash of light in his eyes, Broly's violent aura stabilized, and he spit out a foul breath, I know big brother. But why are we here? As Bappa said before, the people here are too weak. And in Broly's opinion, they can destroy everything with just a touch of a finger. Although the new Vegeta star looks extremely good, but Broly remembers that Bappa once said that it is necessary to take him to settle on Earth. Take in Saiyan here. Without selling out, Bappa's eyes flashed, and he said directly, As I said before, Saiyan has extremely powerful potential. It's just that the Saiyans haven't found the correct way to cultivate, 
so they are so weak. In addition to the destruction of Vegeta Star that year, very few Saiyans survived in the entire universe. Paragus has conquered quite a few Saiyans over the years, as long as they conquer all of them for their own use. They will become a force to be reckoned with in the future. I see. Suddenly nodding. Broly immediately understood Bubba's thoughts and plans. Without any hesitation, Broly immediately said, Don't worry, brother, I will definitely help you to subdue those guys. If anyone dares to disobey and disobey, destroy it. Um, nodding, Bubba is not a virgin, and if these Saiyans don't surrender to him, then he won't allow them to continue to survive. And in the original book, the new Vegeta stars only have Paragus and Broly, and there is no such Saiyan. Obviously, this group of people was eventually killed by Paragus in the original book. It's just that Paragus's more than 3000 combat power is not enough, which is why he returned to Wampa to control himself and Broly. Thinking of this, Bupper directly controlled the spacecraft to fly towards the interior of the new Vegeta star. Soon, the universe spaceship arrived directly above a gorgeous castle. However, just as Bupper was about to control the spacecraft to descend, several Kaigong bombs suddenly flew out from the ground. The next second, the Kaigong bomb hit the universe spaceship, rumbling, rumbling. The sound of the explosion resounded, and the universe spacecraft exploded into pieces in midair. Immediately afterwards, twelve Saiyans could be seen running out of the castle, standing in the area at the top of the castle, sneering and saying, This fellow Paragus dares to come back. Do you really think I won't dare to kill him? A mere crippled man, who gave him the courage to try to become Saiyan's new king. Dot. While talking, the group of Saiyans subconsciously looked at a man who looked almost exactly like Sunny Goku and wore a combat power profile and not far away and said with a frenzy, only King Turles is our Saiyan's new king. Yes, the power of King Turles is far greater than that of King Vegeta, and he is the object of our allegiance. Dot. Surprisingly, that person was Turles. However, because of Paragus, Turles at this moment has not yet gone to Earth, nor has he died on Earth. Ding ding ding. Suddenly, a beeping sound resounded. Immediately afterwards, the dozen or so Saiyan seemed to have noticed something, and suddenly raised their heads to look at the area where the universe spaceship exploded. Not yet dead, this guy Paragus is really tenacious. Call out, call out. The sound of breaking through the air resounded, and the figures of Bupper and Broly flew out. Almost in the blink of an eye, the figures of Bupper and Broly appeared in the top area of the castle. The dozen or so Saiyans looked down at him, and Bupper's eyes quickly locked on Turles. It's actually him. With a hint of surprise in his eyes, Bupper was quite surprised by Turles' presence. After all, in the original book, this guy went to invade the Earth before the Freeze arc and died. I didn't expect him to be on the new Vegeta star and it seems that all the Saiyans around him are dominated by him. And if he remembers correctly, this Turles still has spiritual fruit seeds in his hands. Each spiritual fruit can enhance the combat power by about 1000-10,000. If you get it, you can cultivate your subordinates on a large scale, and you can get a tenfold increase in return. Thinking of this, Bapu immediately said to the system, System, check Turles' information. The next second, Turles' message appeared in front of Bapu's eyes. Tules, race, Saiyan, bloodline. Inferior Saiyan Bloodline Combat Index, 130,000 Transformation, Great Ape Abilities, Artificial Moon, Flying Technique, High Speed Movement, Ki Blast Chapter 5 Turles Wrath Broly's Shot 130,000 Combat Power It seems that this guy has eaten a lot of spiritual fruit After reading Turles' personal information, Bupper's mouth curved into a playful smile Is it you who attacked our spaceship? At this time, Broly stepped forward and stared at Turles and others in the area below his eyes overflowing with murderous intent. If it weren't for Bupper and he was strong enough, the attack just now would have been deadly. In other words, if Paragus came back, he would definitely die from the explosion of the Kaigong bomb and the universe spaceship. You are the sons of Paragus. At this moment, Turles floated forward, his eyes fixed on Bupper and Broly. He vaguely felt that the breath of the two was not right. But Bupper learned the control of Kai long ago, and it was also taught to Broly, so their detectors can't see how strong the two are. Cut. Two trash with only 500 combat power. At this time, a few Saiyans looked at Bupper and Broly with a probe, and said with disdain behind their ears, Lord Turles, it seems that Paragus is afraid to come back, and only dares to send his two sons back to die. Lord Turles, Paragus dares to betray you, do we need to get rid of them? Saying that, the Saiyans were about to move, with a gesture of making a contribution. Caught death. Seeing this, Broly's eyes flashed with murderous intent, and his expression became even more angry at this moment. Stop. However, before those Saiyan and Broly could do it, Turles on the side was the first to speak. You two are Paragus' sons, right? My name is Turles, and I am the new king of Saiyan. As long as the two of you submit to me, I can accept your participation. In Turles' view, although Bupper and Broly only have around 500 combat power, their potential is not comparable to the Saiyans behind them. Especially when they haven't eaten the spiritual fruit. If they can subdue the two, maybe they can create two subordinates that are not weak. 
It's up to you. Hearing this, Broly curled his lips in disdain, not paying any attention to Turles. But he didn't act rashly, but turned to look at Bupper and said, Brother, what do you think? Just don't kill me. Hearing this, Bupper looked extremely indifferent, glanced at Turles and the others and said, The new king of Saiyan, this is not something that a mere inferior Saiyan waste can sit on. Okay, big brother. Hearing this, Broly suddenly grinned. He knew that Bupper's purpose was to subdue this group of people. And now Turles actually pretends to be the new king of Saiyan, which is simply courting death. Thinking of this, Broly floated forward, glanced at where Turles and others were with disdain, and said, Come on together. Don't worry, I won't kill you. But the new king Saiyan is my eldest brother. Anyone who dares to go against my eldest brother's will will be killed without mercy. Court death. Presumptuous. Dot. Hearing this, the Saiyans behind Turles were all furious glaring at Broly and wishing to slash them, including Turles' own complexion at the moment also became quite ugly, glanced at the arrogant and domineering Broly, and the superior Bupper standing in the air from beginning to end, the anger in his heart could not be concealed. Kakao, Amundo. Almost instantly, Turles gave the order, teach me a lesson for these two disobedient boys. If you dare to resist, then kill it. I must have two existences that disobey me. Yes, King Turles. Hearing this, Kakao and Amundo nodded immediately. Immediately afterwards, the two flew out of the crowd, attacked Broly without hesitation, and grinned, Boy, pay the price for your arrogant words. Dare to peep at Lord Turles' seat, both you and your big brother will die. While speaking, the two of them arrived at the area where Broly was located, raised their fists and smashed at Broly's face door without hesitation. It's up to you. With a cold snort, Broly flashed a trace of disdain in his eyes, and with a flick of his body, he directly avoided the attack of the two cacao. Immediately afterwards, Broly clenched his hands into fists and slammed them directly on their stomachs. What? What? The screams resounded. Kakao and Amundo spurted blood, and their bodies bowed like shrimp, and then fell from the sky like a broken kite, directly crashing part of the palace. Kakao, Amundo, seeing this, the remaining Saiyans exclaimed in surprise, their eyes full of incredible colors. The strength of these two people is also considered strong within a dozen of them, with at least close to 3,000 points of combat power. But now he was defeated by Broly with only 500 combat power, which is incredible. It really isn't right. At this time, Turl's face also turned ashen, and he couldn't see that something was wrong. However, he did not choose to shoot himself, but fixed his eyes on where Bupper was. He could see that Broly was unfathomable, but Bupper was even more terrifying. Being able to get Broly to obey, Bupper is definitely a difficult existence, and may even threaten himself. For a while, Turl's didn't care about anything else, and waved his hand quickly kill, you all shot and killed them together, whoever kills these two guys, I will give them spiritual fruit as a reward, as soon as these words came out, the remaining 13 Saiyans A's lit up in an instant, spiritual fruit, that is a good thing that can enhance combat power, and the worst one can increase the combat power by 1000, which is a huge temptation for them, kill, kid, die, little devil, today is your day of death, almost instantly, the 13 Saiyans rushed out, ignoring Broly's unfathomable speed and attacked him. There was even a Saiyan with a power index of 3000 bypassing Broly and heading towards Bupa. He could remember Turl's words. Not only is there a reward for killing Broly, but killing Bupa is no exception. Caught death. Seeing this situation, Broly's eyes flashed with murderous intent, and immediately the whole person rushed out. The next second, Broly's figure broke into the crowd, with one punch and one kick. No Saiyan could be his one enemy. As the screams continued to resume, the twelve Saiyans were all beaten up by him and fell from the air. Broly wouldn't even need to waste so much time if Bupper hadn't said he wouldn't kill these guys. One Kaigong bullet is enough to bury everyone here, including Turles. Chapter 6 Kill Turles, get the spiritual fruit seeds. Little devil, go die. At the other end, Saiyan with 3000 combat power has arrived in the area where Bupper is. Looking at Bupper who was still indifferent. A cold light flashed in his eyes, and he raised his fist and smashed at Bupper's heart, about to kill him with one blow. Ant, do you want to dance too? Looking down at the man, Bupper's eyes flashed with a hint of coldness, and when he raised his hand, a beam of light shot straight through the man's body. The next second, the sound of the explosion resounded, and the Saiyan was completely wiped out by Bupper. Not only that, but the beam of light emitted by Bupper has now flown to an area hundreds of miles away. As the beam hit a hill, a huge explosion swept out. The dust in the sky rose, and a bottomless gap that stretched half a planet appeared, not only dust and hot gas were bubbling on it, sigh. This scene directly caused Saiyan, who had just flown out of the ruins of the castle, to take a deep breath. Saiyan's eyes widened one by one, their eyes looking towards the Madeir Bupper was full of fear, fear and disbelief. Gudu, how can it be so powerful? How could Paragus' son be so terrible? Dot. For a time, Kakao, Amundo and other Saiyan all exclaimed in surprise, especially Turles in midair. He looked at Bupper now with horror in his eyes. Rao is that he has 130,000 combat power, 
but it is impossible to achieve the ability to give a star to the stars in such an understatement as Bupper. Tules, it's your turn next. At this time, Bupper's eyes also locked on Earl's, and he said condescendingly, I Bupper, the new king of Saiyan, you will surrender or die. As he spoke, Bupper immediately released his 100 million combat power. Bang, bang, for a while. The explosion continued. It can be seen that the testers in front of Turles and others' eyes all burst, and it is completely impossible to detect Bupper's combat power index. But even so, they can clearly feel the power and terror of Bupper. My King Bupper, I'm willing to surrender. My King Bupper, I'm willing to surrender. Dot. Almost instantly, the twelve Saiyans including Kakao below all fell to their knees and declared their submission. At this moment, they did not have any grievances and unwillingness, but more of fanaticism and worship. Saiyan, the strong are respected. The terrifying power that Bupper is showing now is no longer an existence that they can match. Such a powerful existence has become the new king, and he will definitely be able to restore Saiyan's glory, and it is not impossible for the Saiyan family to dominate the universe. Ding. Twelve Saiyans declare their allegiance, will the host be bound? At this time, the system prompt sounded. Bind. Without hesitation, Bupper made his choice. With the addition of these twelve Saiyans, eight males and four females. It is possible to breed a race when enough Saiyans are reproduced to be loyal to themselves, and thus bound by themselves. They will get more and more rewards. Ding. Binding succeeded. At this time, the system prompt sounded. In the next second, Bupper looked at the twelve Saiyans on the ground, and could clearly see the loyalty above their heads. Seventy. Without exception, the loyalty of these twelve people to him is all around seventy. Although it is not as straightforward as Broly to reach one hundred percent, so that he can be rewarded, but all of a sudden there is seventy loyalty. As long as it is cultivated for a period of time, I believe their loyalty will soon rise. Hey, suddenly, a cracking sound resounded. Looking at the sound, I could see that Turl's figure suddenly retreated, and the whole person quickly flew towards the outside world. Obviously, compared to the allegiance of Kakao and others on the ground, Turl's is not willing to be submissive. Moreover, he holds the spiritual fruit seeds in his hand, and he is quite confident in himself, and naturally he will not rashly choose to join Bupper's command. Did you refuse? Seeing this, Bupper shook his head. A trace of disdain flashed in his eyes. It was originally planned to give Turles a chance to be loyal. After all, he looks similar to San Goku, and it is also a very good choice to cultivate a black Goku. But unfortunately, Turles did not cherish the opportunity, and Bupper stopped talking nonsense and waved his hand. Since you are so ignorant of praise, there is no need for you to exist. Broly, kill him and bring me the spiritual fruit seeds on him. Yes, sir. Apostrophe. With a promise, Broly ran out immediately catching up with the fleeing turls almost instantly. Those who disobey my eldest brother, die. With a low growl, Broly punched out, directly hitting turls in the head. With a bang, blood splattered in the air, and turls died before he could even let out a scream. After doing all this, Broly reached out and grabbed turls corpse, and after groping for a while, he successfully found the spiritual fruit seeds packed in the vessel. After all this was done, Broly discarded turls body, turned and flew to the area beside Bupper, took out the utensils and said, brother, this should be what you want. Um, nodding his head, Bupper took the spiritual fruit seed, and the corner of his mouth raised. This thing is good. Broly, let's go down. Having said that, Bupper no longer hesitated, and he floated away and flew towards the interior of the palace below. And just as Bupper and Broly headed to the palace, the Saiyans around them also reacted. Without the slightest hesitation, a group of people quickly flew towards the palace. Dot. Inside the main hall, Bupper stepped onto the highest throne and sat down. Meet my king. See my king. Dot. At the same time, the twelve Saiyans came in one after another, kneeling on one knee and looking at Bupper with hot and longing eyes. Get up! Seeing this, Bupper nodded in satisfaction and waved the twelve Saiyans to get up. Immediately afterwards, Bupper's eyes swept over the people on the ground and said, From now on, my Bupper will become the new king of Saiyan. Since you have allegiance to me, then I will not do anything to you. But your strength is still too weak. Next, this king hopes that you can improve your combat power as soon as possible. This is important for Bupper. Although he had obtained 100 million combat power before, Bupper knew very well that this power was far from enough. Therefore, he needs the 12 Saiyans in front of him to become stronger as soon as possible. As long as their combat power reaches 1 million, then they can increase their combat power by 120 million. If the 12 people in front of him all reach 10 million combat power, then Bupper can increase their combat power by 1.2 billion. Chapter 7 Improve Combat Power Hearing this, the twelve Saiyans in the arena were all stunned. After looking at each other, Kakao bowed and saluted, My king, we are all inferior Saiyans, and the improvement of combat power is extremely slow, I am afraid that it will be difficult to achieve my king's expectations in a short period of time. This remark immediately aroused the approval of the rest of Saiyan, as Kakao said, their bloodline itself is not high, 
and even many people were exiled back then. It is almost impossible for them to greatly increase their combat power in a short period of time. No need to worry. In this regard, Bupa's expression was extremely indifferent. His eyes swept over Kakao and others on the ground and said, My father Paragus should have found the coordinates of the Earth before. Next, we will go to the Earth, where the environment is extremely suitable for the growth of spiritual fruit trees. When the time comes, I will plant spiritual fruits within the Earth, so as to give you and increase your strength. Of course, if you want to get spiritual fruit, you can't get it casually. I need to see your loyalty and value. Spiritual fruit. Hearing this, Kakao waited for Saiyan to take a breath and then his expression instantly became excited. They know the value of spiritual fruit too well, eating at least one can increase the combat power by 1000. If Papa can bestow more than one, wouldn't he and others be able to quickly become stronger? Thinking of this, Kakao and others knelt down on one knee and said, I will swear allegiance to King Papa to the death. I will swear allegiance to King Papa. Dot. Seeing this, Papa nodded in satisfaction. However, he also understood that the twelve Saiyans in front of him were not enough to satisfy him. Even if these guys go to Earth now, it is the rhythm of death. Thinking of this, Bapa immediately said, Very good, the next thing you need to do is to complete the construction of the new Vegeta star. I hope that when Broly and I return from Earth, the new Vegeta will be as good as I expected. On the contrary, if you can't even do this thing well, then your value will be meaningless to me. As soon as these words came out, Kakao and others on the ground were shocked. They all understand what Bapa's words are referring to, if they and others can't complete the task that Bapa explained. I'm afraid Bapa won't be merciful to them and even tells is their end. Thinking of this, Kakao and the others did not dare to neglect, and said, Don't worry, King Bupper, I will definitely live up to your expectations. Don't worry, King Bupper, I will live up to your expectations. Dot. Seeing this, Bupper nodded in satisfaction. Immediately afterwards, Bupper sent someone a pen and paper, and then began to draw the city in his mind. After all this was done, Bupper threw the blueprint to Kakao and others. This is what it will look like after I ask for a new Vegeta star, whether you do it yourself or use others. I hope that when I return, the new Vegeta star will look like. It will be like this. Also, let someone prepare a universe spaceship, and Broly and I will set off for Earth. Yes, King Bupper. Hearing this, Kakao and the others did not dare to neglect. After bowing and saluting, a group of people hurriedly left with a blueprint. Big Brother. Watching the twelve Saiyans leave, Broly stepped forward and asked, Do these guys have any great value? And didn't you say you wanted to settle on Earth? Why did you choose to settle on this new Vegeta planet? Hearing this, Bupa smiled slightly. Settle the earth. This is indeed a good choice. But Bupa knew better that it made more sense for him to occupy the new Vegeta than to settle on earth. After all, on earth, the scale of his development of subordinates would be reduced. But the new Vegeta star exists in the center of the universe, and he can even subdue all kinds of universe people to be loyal to himself. The most important thing is that Bupa intends to revive the Saiyan race. At that time, with Saiyan's ability, a small earth is not enough for him to occupy. Thinking of this, Bupa looked at Broly and said, Broly, the earth is too small. Since I have become the new Saiyan king now, naturally I can't be alone, but to develop the Saiyan family. Human strength on earth is not very good, but intelligence and technology should not be underestimated, and even children can be bred based on genes and cells. Although there are only twelve Saiyans, as long as they are cultivated with earth technology, thousands of Saiyan children can be created. At that time, when these children grow up, they will become real Saiyan warriors and at the same time start my plan to establish the Justice League to protect the order of the entire universe. Having said that, Bupa glanced at Broly, who was still a little puzzled, and slowly stood up and said, Broly, the greater the ability, the greater the responsibility. There are too many evil people in this universe. I need to create a Saiyan race that is loyal to me, so as to form the Justice League and completely destroy the evil in the universe. At this moment, Bupa was righteous, almost believing this nonsense. He gave up settling the Earth and even wanted to occupy the new Vegeta star to cultivate Saiyan, just to get the allegiance of these guys, so as to cultivate. As long as the loyal object bound to him is stronger, he can get ten times the return. What about binding a race? What if you bind a universe? Wouldn't that mean that he could continue to become stronger every moment, even surpassing everything? Form the Justice League and completely dismantle the evil of the universe? Broly was very excited at the moment, looking at Bupper full of excitement, yearning and admiration. Brother, it turns out that your goal is so grand. I will definitely help you. Um, seeing this, Bupa nodded in satisfaction. Broly has been fooling around here, and his plan can be carried out more smoothly. Da da da. At this moment, a sound of footsteps resounded. It can be seen that a female Saiyan walked into the hall in a hurry, knelt down on one knee and said, Report to my king, the universe spaceship is ready and can set off for Earth at any time. It is good. After returning to his senses, Bupa glanced at the female Saiyan, and then said, Let's lead the way. Yes. As soon as she agreed. Saiyan did not dare to neglect, 
and immediately walked towards the universe spaceship with Bupper and Broly. It didn't take long for Bupper and Broly to arrive at a huge universe ship. After entering it, Bupper sent away the female Saiyan who wanted to go with him, and only took Broly and set off to Earth. Chapter 8 Arriving on Earth, the artificial human chapter begins. Time flies, half a month has passed in the blink of an eye. Call out, call out. On this day, the universe spacecraft successfully entered the Milky Way, and the blue planet could be seen getting closer and closer from a distance. Brother, we are coming. Broly stepped into the training room, looked at Bupper, who was still exercising, and said, according to the prompt of the spacecraft, it will come to Earth in two hours. Two hours. Hearing this, Bupa stopped cultivating, threw the equipment in his hand on the ground, and spit out a foul breath. Broly, you control the spaceship to land, and I'll take a shower. After arriving on Earth, I just went to see Saiyan who lives here. Yes, sir. With a promise, Broly's eyes flashed with excitement. Did he know that Kakarot lived on Earth? Now that it's finally here, Broly can't wait to fight it. Dot. At the same time, all Sunny Goku and the others on Earth gathered on an island at this moment. Looking down, you can clearly see that the city below is peaceful. But at the moment, Sunny Goku and the others on the hill are also solemn. According to what the young man said, the man-made man appeared here. But it's been such a long time, why haven't we seen any signs of artificial humans? After waiting for more than an hour, Krillin in the crowd spoke impatiently. Not only him, but also Shin Shinhan, Yamka and others on the side are also quite puzzled at the moment. According to what Date said before, the androids should have appeared long ago. But now the time has passed for about half an hour, why has there been no trace of the artificial person yet? Rumbling, rumbling. At this moment, a roar came from below. Looking at the sound, it can be seen that the originally peaceful city below exploded instantly, and black gunpowder smoke appeared in many areas. Not good. The artificial man appeared. Seeing this, Sunny Goku and the others were all refreshed. Immediately afterwards, they no longer hesitated, one by one flew out from the top of the mountain, and flew towards the city below. In the blink of an eye, only Yakilobe. Boomer and Little Trunks were left on the top of the mountain. Bulma, let's go too. Looking at Sunny Goku and the others who were leaving, Yakilobe was a little scared and took out the aircraft and was about to leave. It is good. Hearing this, Bulma also nodded. Although she came here to watch the fun, but now that the androids really appeared, she didn't dare to stay rashly. If something happened, she wasn't afraid herself, but the Little Trunks in her arms were different. Thinking of this, Bulma and Yakilobe immediately walked towards the aircraft and planned to leave. Rumbling, rumbling. However, at this moment, a roar sounded quietly. Looking at the reputation, it can be seen that a huge universe spaceship descended from the sky, and immediately descended on the area not far from Boomer and the others. What's the situation? Universe spaceship? Seeing this scene, Boomer, who was about to leave, looked at him curiously. At the same time, Yakilabi next to her was no exception, but he was more worried, and subconsciously stood in front of Boomer, and said, Boomer, if there is danger in a while, run with trunks first. Thanks, Yakilobe. Hearing this, Bulma glanced at Yakilobe gratefully. Although this guy looks unreliable, his character is indeed beyond doubt. Call out. At this moment, a sound of breaking through the air resounded. It can be seen that Vegeta's figure has arrived here in a hurry. Vegeta. After seeing Vegeta, both Bulma and Yakilobe breathed a sigh of relief. Especially Bulma, who is holding the little trunks and walking forward at this moment. You are finally here. It's been half an hour since the appointed time. I thought you weren't coming. Cut, stupid woman. Hearing this, Vegeta cast a proud glance at Bulma but her gaze towards the little trunks softened by three points. But soon, Vegeta's expression became serious, and he looked at the universe spaceship not far away and said, Bummer, you step back first. This universe ship is from Frieza's command, and it should be Frieza's remnant. Okay. Hearing this, Bummer nodded. She also knew that Frieza's subordinates were extremely evil, and immediately retreated with the little trunks. Click. At this time, the door of the universe spaceship opened. D-A-D-A-D-A. The footsteps resounded and the figures of Bupper and Broly walked out of the universe spaceship. Brother, is this the Earth? The Earth looks good, even more beautiful than the new Vegeta. Looking around, Broly's eyes showed a hint of surprise. Even if he had seen the extraordinary scenery outside the Earth before, but he was really in it, he also found that the new Vegeta star was completely incomparable. Not to mention Womp Pacing, who had lived so long before his brothers. Yes, this is Earth. Stepping forward, Bupper raised the corner of his mouth and said, I didn't expect it to come at the right time. The beginning of the artificial man, the plot has just begun. Speaking of which, a smile flashed in Bupper's eyes. Number 18 is not yet Sooksing, let alone married to that little bald head. In addition, it has not yet become an artificial human, but will fusion Majin Buu cell number 21 in the future is also a good choice. The most important thing is that number 21 is a scientist who is not inferior to Dr. Jiro, and her existence is an existence that Bupper is determined to win. Thinking of this. Bupper's eyes flashed with impatience. He knew very well that the only cyborgs in the city below were Dr. Jiro and Number 19. With Number 19 still dead, 
he can go to the laboratory ahead of time, and maybe he will be able to find number 21 who has not left before. Are you saying? Suddenly, a voice came. Looking at the sound, it can be seen that Vegeta has stepped forward at this moment, her eyes fixed on Bupper and Broly, especially after seeing the tales of the two. His eyes were filled with horror and disbelief. After all, in his opinion, Saiyan is only left with himself and Son Goku, as well as the half-blooded Son Goen and the little drunks. But now the appearance of Bupper and Broly also made him feel surprised, and even vaguely noticed that things were not good. Vegeta, turning his head to look at where Vegeta was, Bupper's eyes flashed a hint of playfulness. Interesting. Have you noticed the arrival of the universe spaceship ahead of schedule? In Bupper's memory, this Vegeta would not be here for at least a few hours. Now that he came in a hurry, it can be seen that he sensed the breath of the universe spaceship, and was worried about Bummer's safety. Chapter 9 Beating Vegeta, Vegeta's Super Form Are you Saiyan too? Looks so weak. At this time, Broly spoke first, looking at Vegeta with disdain. Although the current Vegeta has also completed the transformation of Super Saiyan, its basic combat power is only a few million, which is completely incomparable to Broly, let alone Bupper. This strength also dared to provoke his elder brother, Broly said that he could not bear it. If Bupper hadn't spoken, he would have even wanted to grab Vegeta and hang him. Bastard. Hearing this, Vegeta was furious. He is the dignified Prince Saiyan. The two Saiyans in front of them were just disrespectful to themselves. But now they look down on themselves so much, they deserve to die. Under the anger, Vegeta didn't even intend to continue wasting her lips. Her eyes locked on Broly, and she roared, Damn it, I am Prince Saiyan, how can you underestimate me? Today I will show you what the power of Saiyan really is. After speaking, Vegeta gasped violently, and then attacked Broly. System, check Vegeta information. Seeing this, Bupper's eyes flashed, and he immediately issued an order to the system. The next second, Bupper's eyes flashed, and Vegeta's message emerged. Vegeta, race, Saiyan, bloodline, royal family, combat index, 8 million, transformation, great tape, super Saiyan, ability, prince warfare, artificial moon, final flash, 8 million combat power, not bad, nodding. The disdain in Bupper's eyes deepened. Even if Super Saiyan is transformed, Vegeta in this era is only 400 million combat power. Not to mention Broly's super form, even the super form is enough to hang him. Thinking of this, Bupper immediately said, Broly, teach him a lesson, just don't kill. Yes, sir, with a promise. Broly immediately grinned, looking at Vegeta who was rushing towards him, and stomped on the ground to meet him. Almost instantly, Broly's figure appeared in the area in front of Vegeta's eyes. So fast, her pupils shrank. Vegeta's expression changed quietly, and her gaze towards Broly became more solemn and fearful. However, before Vegeta could react, Broly's fist attacked first, hitting his lower abdomen directly. What? With a scream, Vegeta with only 8 million combat power is not Broly's opponent at all. With a punch, Vegeta flew out like a kite with a broken string, and the blood was constantly spitting out of his mouth, and even the mountain wall that not far away was completely smashed by him. Vegeta. This scene instantly made Boomer exclaim his eyes full of disbelief and horror. In particular, Yakilob in the area next to her was slumped on the ground in fright at the moment, looking at Bupper and Broly with trembling, and muttered, what a terrible Saiyan. It's unbelievable that Vegeta was killed with one punch. These two Saiyans aren't here to destroy the earth, are they? No one can resist that. And Yakilob's words also made Bulma, who was beside him, couldn't help but show fear. The android crisis is not over yet. Now there are two more powerful Saiyans, and the earth is really in crisis this time. You bastard. Just then, Vegeta's angry roar resounded. With a loud bang, the countless gravel that submerged Vegeta burst, and golden air spewed out at this moment, showing the transformation into Super Saiyan form. Super Saiyan, Vegeta, you succeeded. This scene directly caused Bulma's exclamation, and his eyes were also very excited at the moment. Boomer knows how powerful Super Saiyan is. After the former son he got transformed into Super Saiyan, he even killed Frieza. The Emperor of Universe. Now Vegeta has also completed the transformation of Super Saiyan, so the guy in front of him is definitely not his opponent. This air is Vegeta. Super Saiyan's breath fluctuates. At the same time, Sunny Goku and others who were fighting with number 19 and number 20 in the city below also subconsciously turned their heads to look in the direction of the top of the mountain. Looking at the golden arrogance rising into the sky, Sunny Goku was instantly excited. Vegeta has finally completed the transformation of Super Saiyan. But who is he fighting? Are there other androids out there? For a time, the expressions of Son Goku and the others became extremely solemn. According to the current situation, in addition to the two androids in front of him, there seems to be an enemy. Thinking of this, Son Goku also showed a hint of impatience in his eyes at this moment, and immediately transformed into Super Saiyan with a loud drink. Immediately afterwards, Son Goku hurriedly attacked number 19 and number 20, intending to eliminate the two androids in front of him as soon as possible. However, Sunny Goku did not lose his mind, and he said on the way to fly, Piccolo, Krillin, 
You guys go to support Vegeta, Bulma, Yakilobe, and the little trunks are still on the mountain, and there must be no accident to them. Yamka's injury is also extremely serious. My fairy Ben is placed on the top of the mountain. Go and get the fairy Ben to treat him. Hearing this, Piccolo and others all looked serious. They also understand that now is not to say that at other times, compared to the two androids in front of them, they are not that strong, and the battle on the top of the mountain is the most important. Thinking of this, Piccolo and the others did not hesitate, and quickly helped Yamka, who was lying on the ground, dying, and hurried towards the top of the mountain. Dot. Damn bastard, see, this is Saiyan's true power. This prince is the legendary Super Saiyan, what are you fighting against me? Quickly kneel down and cut out. This prince can consider forgiving your behavior. On the top of the mountain, Vegeta walked out of the ruins, full of violent Tora, staring at Broly with anger in his eyes. For this guy who dared to attack him and even nearly killed him, his heart was full of anger and murderous intent. Just you? Hearing this, Broly's eyes flashed with disdain. The legendary Super Saiyan is his Broly, and the Vegeta in front of him just completed the super competition form, and he dares to be so arrogant and domineering. Thinking of this, Broly stepped forward and said with a cold expression, Stop being funny. The legendary Super Saiyan, Vegeta, you don't deserve to be the legendary Super Saiyan. It's just a super ace form, do you think it's only you? With that said, Broly let out a loud drink, golden air gushing out all over his body, and the whole person directly entered the form of Super Saiyan. Chapter 10 Broly vs Vegeta, Action Bupper Surprised Super Saiyan This is impossible. Staring blankly at Broly, who had transformed into a super race, Vegeta, who was arrogant, was dumbfounded, and couldn't help but exclaimed. He never thought that Saiyan who suddenly appeared was not only stronger than himself in basic combat power, but also completed the transformation of Super Saiyan. Feeling the combat power index that was at least 100 million higher than himself, Vegeta's forehead was sweating, and his body was shaking slightly at this moment. Super Saiyan Why is he Super Saiyan 2? It's over, it's over, another Super Saiyan has appeared, and it's stronger than Vegeta. Dot. Yakilo even slumped on the ground, muttering constantly his eyes full of fear. You know, this is just one of the Saiyans. Broly can transform into Super Saiyan, wouldn't the other guy who obviously looks more unfathomable also transform like this? Gudu, swallowing her saliva, Bummer's eyes also showed despair at this moment. For nothing else, the scene in front of him is really too shocking. Another Super Saiyan appeared, and Broly is obviously obedient to Bupper, which means that the latter is likely to be stronger. Super Saiyan 2 Super Saiyans. Dot. At this moment, Bursts of exclamations resounded. Looking at the reputation, it can be seen that Piccolo, Kling and others have also come here in a hurry. After seeing Broly and Vegeta facing each other in the arena, cold sweat broke out on their foreheads. I thought that Vegeta's opponent was an android that he and the others didn't notice. Unexpectedly, the opponent will be Saiyan, and it is also a Super Saiyan. For a time, Kling and the others did not dare to move in the area outside the mountain peak, and they did not even dare to enter it. Without him, the battle between the two Super Saiyans is beyond their reach and comparison. Nothing is impossible. With a cold smile, Broly glanced at Vegeta contemptuously, and then said, Vegeta, I didn't hear what you said just now. Want to beat me? Come on, let me see how qualified you are to beat me, the old prince. Bastard. Hearing this, Vegeta was furious. Broly is stronger than him, no doubt about that. But the latter actually mocked his identity as Prince Saiyan, which made Vegeta difficult to accept. For a while, Vegeta rushed out and attacked Broly, roaring, Piccolo take Boomer and the others away. Apparently, Vegeta was not losing her mind in anger. Instead, he cared more about the existence of Boomer and Trunks at this time. At the same time, Vegeta was also determined at this moment, and attacked Broly frantically. Numerous fist shadows were densely packed, not giving Broly any chance to escape and prevent Boomer and others from leaving. Good chance. This scene directly made Piccolo and others shine. Although they were surprised that Vegeta would care about Boomer and Trunks at this time, they didn't hesitate at this moment. Walk with a low growl. Piccolo and the others quickly flew to the area where Bulma was located. After he floated to the ground, Klin quickly stepped forward and picked up Boomer before leaving. At the same time, Piccolo on the side also got the fairy bends left by San Goku, and quickly took one out and put it into Yamka's mouth. Immediately afterwards, a group of people jumped up and planned to escape from here. Did I let you go? At the critical moment, a cold voice resounded quietly. In the next second, a Kaigong bomb came through the air, and immediately bombarded the hills in the area. Beside Klin and others, a bang resounded and the hills burst into powder. In an instant, after the aftermath spread, Klein, who flew into the air, was slammed into the air, and Piccolo and the others hit the ground heavily. Fortunately, Krillin used himself as a cushion to protect Bulma, so that Bulma and the trunks in her arms were not harmed. D-A-D-A-D-A tilde. The sound of footsteps resounded, and Bapa walked towards the area where Bulma and others were at the moment. Not good. This scene directly changed Vegeta's face. From the attack just now, 
Vegeta could see that Krillin and the others could not be Bupa's opponents. Plus, he couldn't beat Broly at all right now, and it would have been unimaginable for Bupa to get to where Bama and the others were. For a while, Vegeta was very impatient, and pulled back and wanted to stop. Bupa, Vegeta, where to go? However, before Vegeta could act, Broly blocked his escape. Immediately afterwards, Broly threw a punch and directly knocked Vegeta into the air giving it no chance or possibility to stop. Bupa, you bastard. This scene directly made Vegeta stunned. Where are his wife and children? Bupa goes to Bummer, and others. The consequences are absolutely unimaginable. For a while, Vegeta couldn't care about anything else, turned to look at the war-torn city below, and exclaimed, Kakarot, come and help me. As soon as these words came out, the audience was in an uproar. Bupa, who walked towards the area of Bummer and others, also looked at Vegeta in surprise. As Prince Saiyan, Vegeta's pride is beyond doubt. In particular, his envy and hatred towards Sonny Goku declares that even if he dies, he will not turn to Sonny Goku for help. But now, it's unbelievable that Vegeta actually let go and asked Sonny Goku for help. Zizi, after a while, Bupa came back to his senses, and the corners of his mouth raised. Proud Prince Saiyan, he was finally defeated in Wenru Township. For the sake of your wife and children, you can give up your pride without hesitation. Vegeta, this is not the same as the you I know. As he spoke, Bupa took a step and came to the area where Bummer and the others were. With his hands behind his back, he looked at everyone, and his eyes were focused on Boomer. It's not that Bapa has Mengd's goodness, but that he is thinking about whether to take Boomer away. After all, as a scientist in Dragon Ball, her wisdom is beyond doubt. If there is the help of Boomer and the two scientists on the 21st, then the process of creating artificial Saiyan and recreating the Saiyan Empire will be much easier. You, what are you going to do? Aware of Bapa's gaze, Krillin subconsciously stepped forward to block Bapa and asked, although the power is not enough, but the friendship between Kling, Bulma, and Sunny Goku from childhood to adulthood is also very strong. It is precisely because of this that Kling has to stand up in such a dangerous situation. On the contrary, there was a patch of Piccolo, Yamka and the others. Although they looked at Bapa warily, they didn't mean to get in the way of Bulma. Chapter 11 Broly vs Sun Goku, Vegeta, Bulma, come with me. I need your brains and wits. Not caring about the glares and alertness of Klein and the others, Bapa quickly made up his mind and raised his head to look at Bulma without a doubt. Although his current goal is to take number 21 to help himself create an artificial Saiyan, but just number 21 is not enough. If Boomer is added, the probability of success will be greatly improved, and the speed of creating artificial Saiyan will be much faster. Impossible. Hearing this, Klin and the others were completely anxious, and they all retorted without fear. After all, Boomer is their companion, and almost everyone grew up together. Now Bapa actually wants to take Boomer, which is absolutely unacceptable to everyone. Not only them, but also Vegeta who was fighting Broly in the distance, also turned red. He didn't know what Bapa's purpose was, but Bummer was his wife, so how could he allow the rest to take it away? At this moment, Vegeta can't wait to slash Bapa with thousands of pieces, but he is not the opponent of Broly in front of him either. Seeing that Bapa was about to make a move, Vegeta attacked Broly and cursed inwardly. Damn Kakarot, why haven't you come yet, Vegeta? At this moment, there was a cry. Looking at the sound, Sunny Goku can be seen in a hurry. After hearing Vegeta's cry before, Sunny Goku didn't care about dealing with number 19 and number 20, and just abandoned them and came here. Kakarot. Seeing Sunny Goku appear, Vegeta is instantly overjoyed. The arrival of Sunny Goku means that today's victory belongs to them. Thinking of this, Vegeta hurriedly said, Kakarot, hurry up and save Bulma, I bang. Before Vegeta could finish speaking, Broly punched him in the stomach. What? The screams resounded, and Vegeta was directly knocked out smashing to the ground and splashing a large piece of dust. Kakarot. At this time, Broly's eyes followed to where Sunny Goku was, and the aura around him became violent, and killing intent began to emerge in his eyes. His purpose in following Bapa to Earth this time is to deal with Sunny Goku. Now that the main lord appeared, he naturally didn't have the heart to play around with Vegeta. Vegeta. Seeing this, Sunny Goku was shocked. Quickly dodging to the area where Vegeta fell, Sunny Goku helped him out of the ruins, and said with a horrified expression, Vegeta, what the hell is going on? Who are they? Why are they attacking you? Hearing this, Vegeta's eyes flashed a hint of grief. He also wanted to know the origins of Bapa and Broly now, even though Saiyan dared to attack him. But Vegeta is also more aware of the danger of Bama and others now, and stood up struggling and said, Kakarot, you and I will join hands to kill the guy in front of you first. They came to Earth this time because they are definitely not good people. If they can't be killed, then everyone will be in danger. Hearing this, Sunny Goku looked solemn. I thought that artificial talents were the biggest crisis, but from the previous fight against number 19 and number 20, Sunny Goku didn't think the latter was strong. On the contrary, it was Bupa and Broly who appeared now. He could feel the terrifying crisis from Broly, and Bupa on the other side made him feel unfathomable. I see. Nodding his head, Sunny Goku said solemnly, Vegeta, let's join forces. Saying that, Sunny Goku and Vegeta let out a loud shout, 
and both of them also entered the Super Saiyan form. Immediately afterwards, Sunny Goku and Vegeta no longer hesitated, stomping on the ground, rushing left and right to attack Broly. The next second, the figures of Sun Goku and Vegeta appeared in front of Broly, and one person and one punch hit Broly's body. Bang, bang, the roar resounded, and Broly took the punches from Vegeta and Sun Goku, but didn't get hurt, didn't even shake. How is this possible? How come? Seeing this, Sunny Goku and Vegeta widened their eyes and looked at Broly in disbelief, their eyes full of incredible colors. Kakarot. At this moment, Broly's roar resounded quietly. In the next second, a grass green chi burst out showing that Broly's height of about 1.83 meters had grown rapidly at this moment. In just a few breaths, Broly reached a height of about 3 meters. Anger state erupted. Broly's chi instantly increased tenfold, reaching 5 billion. Before Sunny Goku and Vegeta could recover, Broly, who was in a state of anger, swung out his fists and slammed directly on Sunny Goku and Vegeta's face. What? What? The screams resounded, and Sunny Goku and Vegeta were instantly knocked out, smashing a lot of boulders one after another and finally even being knocked out of the top of the mountain. Kakarot. After the blow, Broly didn't hesitate, stomped on the ground and continued to attack Sunny Goku and Vegeta. How is this possible? Neither Goku nor Vegeta teaming up is his match. Dot. In this scene, Piccolo, Kling and others were stunned, their mouths wide open and their faces full of disbelief. That's a combination of two Super Saiyans. This can't shake Broly, and even being hanged by Broly now, how can they accept it? Nothing is impossible. Seeing this, Bupper smiled lightly glanced at Kling and the others, and then said, Broly is the real the legendary Super Saiyan. Kakarot and Vegeta are just ordinary Saiyans. Even if they have completed the transformation of the Super Ace form, they cannot be Broly's opponents. Okay. Now it's time to tell me your decision, Boomer. After speaking, Bupper's eyes immediately followed to where Boomer was. Even if the other party is one of the heroines of Dragon Ball, or even a character he liked in his previous life, but Bupper has no interest in wives, let alone now that Boomer has children. If it weren't for its own technological talents and abilities, Bupper wouldn't even bother with lip color. Why? What do you want me to do? Facing Bupper's gaze, Bulma asked in a panic. Broly's strength was in her eyes, and she knew how terrifying the latter was. It's clearer that Sunny Goku and Vegeta are not rivals, even if they join forces. Although Bupper in front of him couldn't tell the depth, but Bulma also understood that Kling and the others next to him could not be his opponents. Chapter 12 One-Sided Grushing Sun Gohan turned into a super race. As I said, I need your brain and wit. The corners of his mouth rose, Bubba didn't directly state his purpose, looked at Bama calmly and said, and you have no right to refuse. If you reject me, everyone present will die. Hiss. Hearing this, Bama subconsciously took two steps back, looking at Bubba as if he had seen a demon. Not only her, including Piccolo next to her, Kling and others are no exception. Even though Bubba hadn't shot from start to finish, he was able to order Broly, showing that he was very powerful. If it really angers the other party, then the latter may really kill them all. What? What? At this moment, two screams came quietly. Looking at the reputation, it can be seen that Sunny Goku and Vegeta are now covered in blood under Broly's attack. Broly's combat power reached 5 billion in a state of anger, which is simply not something Sunny Goku and Vegeta can compete with at this stage. Especially Vegeta. After encountering heavy blows one after another, it is already at the end of the line, and even the Super Saiyan form cannot be maintained. Goku, Vegeta. This scene directly made Bulma, and others exclaimed. How long has it been? Sunny Goku and Vegeta both lost to Broly, which is not good news. Subconsciously, Boomer said, I'll go with you, can you stop him? Bulma, Bulma. Hearing this, Piccolo, Kling and others were all anxious. Even though Bapa looked polite, they sensed that Bapa was not a good person. Under such circumstances, if Bama left with Bapa, the consequences would be absolutely unimaginable. But at this moment, Bulma couldn't care so much anymore. Looking at Vegeta and Sun Goku, who were already scarred, she knew that only she could stop this. Can. The corners of his mouth rose, and Bapa looked at Bama, and said, as long as you promise to come with me and help me complete the task I have given me, then not only will I not kill you, but I can even make Broly stop. It is good. I'll go with you. Hearing this, Bama quickly made a decision as soon as he gritted his teeth. Immediately afterwards, Bama reluctantly glanced at the little trunks in his arms, and immediately sent it to Kalin's arms and said, Krillin, help me take care of the trunks. Bama, reaching out to take the trunks, Krillin's eyes were full of tears and worry. Don't worry, he shouldn't kill me. Seeing this, Bama endured the fear in her heart and spoke to comfort. Although she didn't know what Bapa was going to do, she could see that the latter shouldn't rashly kill her, otherwise she wouldn't need to be so circumspect. After doing all this, Bama walked to Bapa's side with a complicated expression. I'll go with you, please stop that Broly. It is good. Glancing at Bama, the corners of Bapa's mouth rose, and he immediately turned his head and said, Broly, throw Vegeta over here. Yes, sir. Hearing this, Broly was stunned for a moment, and the action that originally attacked Vegeta and Sunny Goku was taken aback. Immediately afterwards, 
Broly grabbed Vegeta and threw it to the area where Bupper was without hesitation. After doing all this, Broly looked at Sunny Goku again and shouted angrily, Kakarot, give me death. With that said, Broly attacked Sunny Goku again. Bang, bang. For a while, the roar continued to resume, and Sunny Goku directly became Broly's sandbag, and the whole person didn't even have any resistance. What? The screams kept resounding. Sunny Goku was injured all over under Broly's attack, and the whole person gradually lost his Super Saiyan form. Vegeta. At this time, Bulma quickly came to Vegeta's place, looking at the latter's dying appearance, a hint of distress flashed in his eyes. Immediately afterwards, Bulma turned his head sharply to look at Bupper and said, You don't trust me, why is he still beating Goku? Not just Boomer, including Kling and others are also glaring at Bupper at this moment. After all, the latter had promised well just now, but now they suddenly changed their minds, which made them dare not speak out. No need to worry. After sweeping Boomer and the others, Bupper said indifferently, Broly won't kill him. Now it's just to settle their childhood grievances. My younger brother was only exposed to 10,000 combat power when he was disturbed by Kakarot's crying when he was a child. This caused King Vegeta's fear and even wanted to kill him. What's the matter of just beating him now? After all, compared to our brother's crisis back then, at least Kakarot won't die, right? As soon as these words came out, the audience fell silent. Boomer and the others stared at Bupper with wide eyes, their eyes full of horror and awe. Unexpectedly, there would be such a grudge between Broly and Sunny Goku. How can this be possible with 10,000 combat power at birth? On the ground, Vegeta retorted with difficulty. Even if you have been defeated. But Vegeta's pride was still there, and she was even more irritated by Bupper's words. His dignified Prince Saiyan was born with only 1,000 combat power. How could someone have 10,000 combat power when they were born? Nothing is impossible. Glancing at Vegeta, Bupper said condescendingly, My brother Broly is the legendary Super Saiyan. As the legendary Super Saiyan, his power grows exponentially every year. It can be said that as long as he grows to two or three years old, it is enough to threaten the status of King Vegeta. That's why King Vegeta doesn't allow his presence, not just because Broly threatens himself, but even you, our most talented prince in Saiyan. You, hearing this, Vegeta's blood was instantly tumbling. How could he not hear Bupper's sarcasm? Under the anger, Vegeta opened his mouth and spurted blood, and the whole person passed out. Vegeta, seeing this, Bummer and the others were all shocked. I quickly checked Vegeta's situation and made sure that there was no fear of life, so I felt relieved. Piccolo, who was not far away, wanted to give Vegeta a fairy bean, but he didn't dare to act rashly at this moment. He could see that Bupper was definitely not a good person, and if he acted rashly, he might only anger the other party. Dad. At this moment, a violent shout came. Looking at the sound, you can see the area not far away. Sun Gohan hurried over. After seeing Sunny Goku who was beaten by Broly, Sun Gohan was instantly furious with golden energy gushing out all over his body, and immediately transformed into the form of Super Saiyan. Immediately afterwards, Sun Gohan swooped out and rushed towards Broly to rescue the scarred Sun Goku. Chapter 13 The Defeated Zed Fighters Take Away Bulma Oh, Sun Gohan, raising his brows, Bupper's eyes instantly turned to the young figure galloping over. He remembered that Sun Gohan had not completed his Super Saiyan transformation at this time. At least Sun Gohan's transformation should not be now, but because of the arrival of him and Broly, Sun Gohan completed his transformation ahead of schedule. The Saiyan with the most potential in Dragon Ball. It's a pity that it ended up being Nobafan. Whispering in a low voice, Bapu immediately followed up with an order, System, check out Sun Gohan and Sunny Goku's personal panels. In the next second, the personal information of Sunny Goku and his son appeared in front of Bapu's eyes. Sunny Goku, Race, Saiyan, Bloodline, Inferior Saiyan, Combat Strength, 9 million, Transformation, Super Saiyan, Ability, Kaioken, Came a mere wave. Instant transmission, spirit bomb, Sun Gohan, race, Saiyan, bloodline, hybrid Saiyan, combat strength, 6 million, transformation, super Saiyan, interesting, Sunny Goku is stronger than Vegeta, and Sun Gohan's potential should not be underestimated, he has 6 million basic combat power in his teens, after reading the information about Sun Goku and his son, Bupper's eyes flashed and he wondered if Sun Gohan should be taken away, there is no doubt about the potential of the latter if he can be made to surrender to himself. If Sun Gohan didn't become Nobafan under his own intervention, then his future achievements are definitely not inferior to Sunny Goku and Vegeta, and there is even the possibility of surpassing Kakarot. At this moment, Broly's low growl resounded again. As soon as he threw a punch, Sun Gohan was knocked out. With a scream, Sun Gohan, who had only reached 300 million combat power, couldn't stand the blow at all. It can be seen that his figure was instantly knocked out, and he even took the whole person out of Super Saiyan form, and he fell unconscious again. Goen. This scene made Piccolo in a hurry, and quickly took out a fairy bin and stuffed the bag containing the fairy bin to Krillin next to him. Immediately after, Piccolo dashed towards the area where Sun Goen fell. Goen. At the same time, Sunny Goku's roar resounded. Watching Sun Goen seriously injured,
Sunny Goku re-entered Super Saiyan form in a fit of rage. Immediately afterwards, Sunny Goku stared at Broly in front of him, gritted his teeth and said, I will never forgive you. Ten times Kaioken Ha, with a low roar resuming, the chi around Sunny Goku became violent, and the crimson radiance was bright, and directly activated the Kaioken ten times in Super Saiyan form. In an instant, Sunny Goku's chi increased tenfold, directly reaching 4.5 billion. What? However, at this moment, Sunny Goku suddenly screamed. The next second, Sunny Goku covered his heart, and the whole person instantly exited Kaioken and Super Saiyan form. Covering the area of his heart, Sunny Goku kept screaming, but it was a heart attack. Goku, Sunny Goku, dot. This scene directly made Klin and others exclaimed, one by one, without caring about the others, they quickly flew towards Sunny Goku's place. In the blink of an eye, Klin and the others arrived at the place where Sunny Goku was. Klin quickly took out the fairy bins and fed them to Sun Goku, while Shin Shinhan and others looked at Broly on guard. In this regard, Broly didn't care at all, his whole body became more and more violent, and his eyes were fixed on Sun Goku, obviously not planning to stop. Stop it. Seeing this situation, Bulma became anxious. He could see that Broly was going to do something, and Sunny Goku was already in a terrible situation. If the fight continues, it will definitely kill Sun Goku. Thinking of this, Bulma quickly looked at Bapa and said, I have promised to leave with you, and you promised not to kill them. If Sunny Goku dies, then I won't do anything for you. Hearing this, Bapa cast a glance at Boomer then looked at the area not far away and said in a low voice, Broly, that's enough, big brother. Hearing this, Broly, who was about to move on, trembled. Immediately afterwards, the violent aura around him struggled for a moment, but soon recovered. It can be seen that Broly's body quickly recovered as before, and the whole person also exited the Super Saiyan form at this moment. After all this was done, Broly glanced at Sunny Goku indifferently and said, Kakarot, I'll let you go this time. After that, Broly pulled away and flew back to the area beside Bapa. Wu. Seeing this situation, Bulma and the others were all relieved. Broly stopped, which also means that this battle is over. Let's go. At this moment, Bapa looked at Boomer and Broly and said, It's time to meet the other person I'm looking for. After that, Bapa and Broly flew into the air. That, at this time, on the ground, Bulma looked at Bapa with a flushed face and said, I can't fly. Ah, seeing this, Bapa twitched the corners of his mouth and stretched out his hand to pull Boomer into the air. He took Boomer into his arms smelled the faint milky fragrance, didn't care too much, and flew towards the distance. He had locked on the fluctuations of the 19th and 20th before, and even if the two of them had concealed their own power fluctuations, they could not escape Bupper's monitoring. The two of them should have almost arrived at the research room now, and they can find number 21 and others when they rush there. Bulma, this scene directly made Sunny Goku exclaim, but the power of the heart attack directly made him unbearable, and the whole person passed out in darkness. Goku, Goku, seeing this situation, Klin and others became a mess. It never occurred to me that Sun Goku, who ate Sendu, did not recover. All right. At this time, Piccolo hurried over holding the unconscious Sun Goen, glanced at Sunny Goku and said, Sunny Goku must have had a heart attack, and now take him back to take medicine immediately. Go and take Vegeta in person. We leave here as soon as possible to heal them. Those two guys shouldn't leave the earth in a short time. Only when Sun Goku, Vegeta and Goen have recovered will it be possible to save Bulma. Hearing this, Klin and others were also refreshed. After looking at each other, Yamka quickly flew forward to help the unconscious Vegeta. Immediately afterwards, a group of people didn't stay any longer, and hurried towards Sunny Goku's house in Bozi Mountain. Dot. Arrive. At the other end, Bapa held Bummer and brought Broly to the area above the deep mountains and forests where the laboratory was located. Soon, Bapa locked his eyes on the entrance of the research room and said, Broly, say hello to them and let them know that we are here. Chapter 14 Number 17 Number 18 Recovery The Death of Dr. Jiro Okay, big brother. Hearing this, Broly showed a sinister smile on his face, raised his hand and aimed at the cave door not far away, and a Kaigong bullet flew out instantly. Rumbling, rumbling. The explosion resounded, and Broly's Kaigong bomb directly destroyed the entrance of the research room. Dot. No one's coming. Inside the cave, the expressions of Dr. Dot Jiro and Number 19 changed drastically. Feeling the fluctuations from the outside world, Dr. Jiro hurriedly said, Number 19, you go out and block them. I'll wake 17th and 18th now to help. Okay. Doctor, with a promise, number 19 did not hesitate, and walked towards the outside of the research room. Seeing this situation, Dr. Jiro no longer hesitated, and quickly walked to the side area. Looking at the nutrition warehouse containing number 18 and number 17, Dr. Jiro subconsciously frowned. A hint of fear flashed in his eyes. But soon, Dr. Jiro made up his mind and pressed the switch to open the nutrition compartment. Click. The nutrition compartment opened and number 17 and number 18 followed Sook Singh and walked out of it. Number 17, number 18, seeing the figure walking out. Dr. Dot Jiro instantly became nervous. After all, 
These two were incomplete failures. He was really afraid of what would happen. He subconsciously took out the control that would make number 18 and number 17 fall asleep. If the two have a tendency to backlash, then he will let them fall asleep again at the first time. Dot. At the other end, the figure of number 19 sprang out of the cave. His eyes scanned Bupper, Broly, and Bummer, and then he said, It's not Sonny Goku. Who are you? Number 19. Looking at the figure of number 19, Bupper's eyes showed a hint of surprise, and he said, I didn't expect Sonny Goku to even deal with you. But I'm not here to find you this time. I believe that the 17th and 18th have also been awakened by now. Bapu asked Broly to do it, so that Dr. Dotjiro would wake up number 17 and number 18. Although in the original book, you only need to find the switch, but Bapu is also afraid that Dr. Dotjiro will have something to prepare. Now that the latter wakes up number 18 and number 17, he doesn't need to worry that the two cannot be woken up. Thinking of this, Bapu immediately said, Broly, kill him. Yes, sir. As soon as he agreed, Broly didn't dare to neglect, and with a loud drink, he immediately activated the state of anger and the state of super competition. Immediately afterwards, Broly swayed towards the number 19 attack on the ground. Seeing this situation, number 19 did not have any fear, and immediately rushed forward to fight Broly. Unfortunately, reality is cruel. Broly in his rage state super ace form has a full 5 billion combat power, which is not something that number 19 can compete with. In just a split second, Broly immediately blew number 19's head. With a drop of mechanical debris scattered, number 19 was killed immediately. Cut, trash. Looking at number 19 who couldn't even stop himself with a single blow, Broly pouted and a trace of disdain flashed in his eyes. The cyborg, who thought that Sunny Goku would be difficult to take down in a short period of time, would have some abilities. But now it seems that there is absolutely no possibility for him to be excited. This kills. How can it be so powerful? Opening his mouth. Puma's eyes were full of astonishment and disbelief. She also knew that Sun Goku fought with number 19 and they even came to support Vegeta without any help. She also knows that Broly's strength is not comparable to Sun Goku, Vegeta and others. But she never imagined that Broly would be so terrifying, killing an android with just one blow. It's just trash. Seeing this, Bupa smiled indifferently, glanced at Boomer in his arms and said, This level of android is no different from a toy. Let's go, I'll take you to see what a real android looks like. With that said, Bapa floated to the entrance of the research room and said, Broly, let's go. Okay, big brother. With a promise, Broly immediately followed. D-A-D-A-D-A. The sound of footsteps resounded, and the three Bapa quickly entered the cave. What are you going to do? Number 17, stop it. At this moment, a terrified cry came. The three of Bapa walked in from a corner, and they could see that number 17 was holding the controller in one hand at the moment, while the other hand grabbed the Dr. Dotjiro's neck and lifted it in the air. On the 17th, someone is here. At this time, Number 18 spoke quietly, and at the same time stepped forward and looked at Bupper and Broly alertly. As for Boomer, she just glanced at it and didn't care. She didn't even have a combat power index, so it wasn't worth her care. Say I am. Seeing this, Number 17 frowned, then turned to look at Dr. Jiro and said, Doctor, is this why you let us out? It's really embarrassing to be chased and killed. But in order to repair your behavior towards my sister and brother, I will send you on your way now. Saying that, Number 17 crushed the controller in his hand. Immediately afterwards, Number 17 raised his left hand and pierced Dr. Jiro's head without hesitation, destroying the courtship that blamed him at this moment. Sigh. What a cold-blooded person. In this scene, Puma took a deep breath, and looked at Number 17 and Number 18 with a little more fear and panic. After all, in Bummer's view, both of them are artificial humans. Dr. Dotjiro created them, but they killed Dr. Dotjiro. This is definitely an act of betrayal. Subconsciously, Bummer retreated to the area behind Bapa hoping to gain some sense of security. Bapa didn't care. After glancing at number 17, his eyes were directly locked on number 18, and the corners of his mouth raised. Not bad, not bad. As expected of the most popular woman in Dragon Ball, number 18 is really extraordinary. Unlike Bapa who has little interest in the back of her body, Bapa, who has a perfect body, is quite interested. Hey, what are you looking at? At this time, number 17 threw the body of Dr. Jiro, and a dodged body blocked the area in front of number 18 glaring at Bupper and scolding. Although it is an artificial human, the feelings between the sister and brother still exist. For Bupper's reckless scrutiny of his sister's behavior, number 17 can't be regarded as not seeing. Of course it's your sister. The corners of his mouth rose, Bupper glanced at number 17, and then said, number 17, number 18, since you have recovered your freedom, are you willing to surrender to me? Chapter 15 Number 17 vs Broly. Awakening No. 16. Surrender? Exclamation mark. Hearing this, the faces of number 17 and number 18 instantly turned ugly. Although the two siblings were captured by Dr. Jero and used as androids, they never had the intention to submit to human beings. And they don't know Bupper, who is also Saiyan, 
which makes number 18 and number 17 feel good about him. A madman. If you want my sister and brother to surrender, it depends on your ability. With a loud drink, number 17 jumped out and attacked Bupper. Broly, it's over to you. Seeing this, Bupper said something lightly without raising his head. Number 17 and number 18 in this period are not even stronger than Sunny Goku and Vegeta in Super Saiyan form. There is only 500 million combat power to survive, Bupper really doesn't care, and even has no interest in doing it. Okay, big brother. With a promise, Broly couldn't wait. A dodging escape, Broly directly transformed into a super competition, and also has 500 million combat power. The next second, Broly and number 17 were fighting together on the field. Bang, bang, the roar continued to resume and the battle between Broly and number 17 intensified, and gradually entered the white hot stage. However, compared to number 17's all-out effort, Broly was only transformed into a super game, and the anger state and super transfer mode were not displayed at all. Number 18 Not caring about the two who were fighting together, Bupa walked to the area where number 18 was with a frightened Bulma. After looking up and down at number 18 for a while, Bupa said, Introduce yourself, my name is Bupa, the king of Saiyan. Bupa, King Saiyan. Hearing this, Number 18 has not responded yet, but Buma on the side couldn't help exclaiming, King Saiyan. These simple four words represent Bupa's identity. The main thing is that Bulma remembers Vegeta saying that Saiyan has been killed. But now Bupa's words say his King Saiyan, doesn't that mean that there are other Saiyans in the universe, and they still submit to Bupa? Thinking of this, Bumma's inner emotions became even heavier. With such a terrifying existence, there are still many Saiyans under her command, which is definitely not good news for her and everyone on Earth. My name is Lazuli. Glancing at Bupper, Lazuli subconsciously reported his real name. Immediately afterwards, Lazuli reacted quickly and looked at Bupper alertly. King Saiyan. Bupper, what are you trying to do? It is absolutely impossible to make my sister and brother surrender. My siblings will not be loyal to anyone, and no one can limit our freedom. Free. This is what the Lazuli siblings care about the most. After all, he was caught by Dr. Jero as an experiment since he was a child, and even after being transformed into an artificial human, he was forced to fall into a deep sleep for so long. Now that she has finally regained her freedom, Lazuli doesn't want to lose all this. No no no. In response, Bupper shook his head, his eyes locked on Lazuli and said, Lazuli, if you don't surrender to me, your siblings will not be free, and even what awaits you is endless pursuit and hunting. Dot. Chase. Hearing this, Lazuli raised her brows, her beautiful eyes locked on Bupper, and said with a dangerous expression, Are you going to hunt down my brother and sister? What a domineering man but my sister and brother are not vegetarians. Not only her, but also Bama looked at Bupa in surprise at the moment. The latter's domineering makes people obsessed. If she hadn't been married, or even had children, she would have been addicted to it. No, you are wrong again. Not noticing the reaction of Bama next to him, Bupa looked at Lazuli with a smile on his face and said, it is Saiyan on earth who will deal with you, and the ultimate android made by Dr. Dotjuro. Both parties will take your life. Only by surrendering to me and following me to the new Vegeta star will your siblings have real freedom. The ultimate android? Hearing this, Lazuli raised his brows, looked at Bupa and said, What are you talking nonsense about? How could there be any ultimate artificial man? Also, what is Saiyan on earth? According to the information from Dr. Dotjuro, neither Sunny Goku nor Vegeta is my sibling's opponent. This is not a Lazuli conceit. With the Lazuli siblings' current 500 million in combat power and the infinite energy furnace in their bodies, Sunny Goku and others are really not their opponents. New Vegeta Star? He's really the new Saiyan King. On the contrary, Buma looked at Bupa thoughtfully, thinking about it, and roughly understood where Bupa was going to take her. Not surprisingly, after leaving Earth, Bupa will head to the new planet Vegeta, where she will be taken. Do not believe? No surprise Lazuli's reaction. Bupa glanced at Broly and Number 17 who were still fighting, and then said, If that's the case, then you can open Number 16's nutrition warehouse over there. He is also an android, and he was followed Dr. Jero the longest and knows about the ultimate android. 16. Hearing this, Lazuli frowned and looked at Bupper with a confident face, feeling a vague sense of unease in his heart. Immediately afterwards, Lazuli no longer hesitated, and walked to the side area to open the nutrition warehouse on number 16. In the next second, number 16, who was in it, followed Su crossing. Number 16. Seeing number 16 coming from Su Xing, Lazuli didn't hesitate and asked directly. Did Dr. Jiro create the ultimate android? You are number 18. Glancing at Lazuli, number 16 quickly learned the other party's information. After looking around again, number 16 said, Yes, Dr. Jiro has indeed created an ultimate android, but I only know of his existence, and I haven't had time to participate in the rest of the things. Dr. Jiro has put me into a deep sleep. Really have. Hearing this, Lazuli's delicate body was shocked, and he subconsciously turned his head to look at Bupper's place and said with a serious face, what is the ultimate android? Why do you say it will hunt us down? At this moment, Lazuli was a little nervous. After all, as an android, 
she is very aware of her own strength. Now that Dr. Dotjiro still has the existence of an ultimate humanoid, and he will also deal with his siblings, he must find out what is going on. Chapter 16 Las Eli Sisters and Brothers Compromise Big Special Strikes Quietly I am not sure as well. Number 16 He glanced at Las Eli, then shook his head and said, I only know from the information that you and number 17 are one of the nutrients for the ultimate android. As for why he shot against you, I don't know that. Hearing this, Lazuli's face turned pale. Although number 16 didn't know why, she could also hear that the ultimate android's goal would be her siblings. Lazuli. At this time, Papa stepped forward, looked at Lazuli and said, Now you know the answer. It's the same sentence as before. If you surrender to me, then this king can help you solve your worries. On the contrary, if your sister and brother are unwilling to surrender, then there is no need for the final android to take action. This place is your burial place. As soon as these words came out, the audience fell silent. Sixteen and Bummer looked at Bupper in surprise. Lazuli, on the other hand, was caught in an endless angle. Bupper, after about a quarter of an hour, Lazuli suddenly raised his head, stared straight at Bupper and said, Submit to you, aren't you afraid that my sister and brother will attack you at that time? At this moment, Lazuli has compromised in his heart. Although she didn't know how powerful the ultimate android was, she also vaguely felt that things were not simple. The main thing is that Bupper and Broly do have the ability to kill his siblings. Bite me, with a disdainful smile. Bupper glanced at Lazuli and said, Those who submit to me will never be able to fight back. And your siblings are human beings, and it was Dr. Juro who forcibly captured the artificial humans you transformed into. Speaking of which, your sister and brother are also hard-working people. Now that I rescue you, it is only natural for you to be loyal to me. The most important thing is that I know that there is a ticking time bomb in your artificial human body. If it is activated, you will all die. But the time bomb is nothing to me. I can help you take out all the time bombs in your body. Hiss. Hearing this, Lazuli. Number 16 all gasped. Only Dr. Juro knows that there are bombs in their bodies. How did the butler in front of him know? The most important thing is that the latter's confident appearance is obviously telling them that all this is not false. Ah, at this moment, a scream came. Looking at the reputation, it can be seen that number 17 has been injured at the moment under Broly's attack. He was in a state of embarrassment, and there were even blood marks and fist marks in many areas on his body. Obviously, his situation is not good, and he is not an opponent of Broly in the furious state. Number 17. Seeing this, Lazuli subconsciously exclaimed. She could see that number 17 was in a bad situation at the moment. If a decision could not be made as soon as possible, number 17 would likely die in Broly's hands. Thinking of this, Lazuli couldn't care less, looked at Bupper and said, Our brothers and sisters can surrender. But one thing, you have to do everything you promised. Also, although my sister and brother surrender to you, they will not become your executioners to kill innocent people indiscriminately. At this moment, Lazuli directly reported his bottom limit. If Papa can agree, then she has to choose to surrender. Ha! Huh. On the other hand, Bulma looked at Lazuli in surprise at the moment. After all, in what date told before, this android is synonymous with ferocity and evil. But now judging from Lazuli's words, although they are artificial humans, they are not much evil. At this moment, Buma couldn't help but murmured with a complicated expression. Could it be that what the child said is false, or is the android going bad in the future, not the present? Can, with an indifferent smile, Bapu agreed without hesitation. As long as the Lazuli siblings surrender themselves for him, it was earning, not to mention that there was a gift of number 16 on the side. He knew that number 16 was not a bad guy, and he was once one of Dr. Jiro's assistants. With their participation, the ambition to create an artificial Saiyan race can be completed faster. Thinking of this, Bapu said immediately, if so, then this battle is unnecessary. Broly, it's time to stop. As Bupper's voice came out, Broly, who was pressing number 17 in the distance, quietly stopped his movements. After glancing at number 17, who had been abused by him, he said indifferently, you're lucky. If Big Brother hadn't stopped him, you would have died today. After saying that, Broly turned around and flew towards the area where Bupper was. Damn. Seeing this situation, number 17's complexion was ashen, and he was extremely unwilling to accept the results in front of him. But he also understands that he is not Broly's opponent now and even the other party has not done his best from beginning to end, otherwise he can't resist it at all. Thinking of this, although number 17 felt aggrieved, he did not act rashly. He dragged his injured body and walked towards Lazuli. Soon, number 17 arrived at Lazuli's place and said, Why, we lost. Hearing this, Lazuli glanced at number 17 and immediately said, Dr. Dotjiro has also created an ultimate android, and you and I are one of his goals. Only the bupper in front of you can protect you and me and only he can let you and I live freely and safely. Hearing this, number 17 was instantly silent. He is not very aware of the danger and power of the ultimate android, but from Lazuli's serious attitude, this is definitely not a simple matter. Thinking of this, number 17 pondered a little, and then said, So you plan to surrender to him? Good. Nodding his head, Lazuli didn't give a shit, and said straightforwardly, 
you and my brother and I surrender to him together. He can help us solve our own crisis, and he can also leave the earth, whether it is a land or not. After speaking, Lazuli ignored number 17 who was still thinking, and turned to look at number 16 beside him and said, how about you? Number 16, what are your plans next? I, hearing this, number 16 looked at the Lazuli siblings, then looked at Bupa not far away and said, Bupa, can I join you? Dr. Dotjaro died. In the end, the artificial man has not yet appeared, and number 16 really doesn't know what to do next. Certainly, the corners of his mouth rose, and Bupa also welcomed number 16's initiative to surrender. Before, I was still struggling with how to convince the other party, but now it seems that there is no need to spend more time. Humanoid, die for me. Suddenly, a loud shout resounded. Looking at the prestige, I can see that the big special who transformed into Super Saiyan is coming at a speed, holding a long sword and slashing the Lazuli sister and brother. Chapter 17 The Three Cyber Allegiance, Shock Drunks, Big Special. It's time to come. Seeing this, the corners of Bupa's mouth twitched, and a cold glow flashed across his eyes. He had just reached an agreement with the Lazuli brothers and sisters, and they had not yet had time to subdue them, and this big special ran out of the way, which is not good news. Although he admires the future lonely warrior in the original book, Bupa will not allow anyone to disrupt his plans and deployments. Thinking of this, Bupa immediately said, Broly, stop him. I don't like being interrupted. Yes, sir. Hearing this, Broly immediately rushed out. The next second, Broly's figure appeared in the area in front of D8. The tall body directly blocked the way forward for Drunks, and said with a cold expression, the one who comes, stop, go ahead and dare to approach Shawash. You, seeing the sudden appearance of Broly, Trunks pounding action paused. After reaching the area in front of Broly, Trunks stopped and frowned. Who are you? Saying that, Trunks looked at everyone in the arena. He hated the Lazuli siblings, but was more surprised by the presence of Bupa, Number 16 and Boomer. Mum, subconsciously, Trunks wanted to shout, but he swallowed the words when they reached his lips, and changed his voice. Miss Boomer, why are you here? Also, who are they? Why are they with the androids? No room for Trunks not to be surprised. After all, in his memory, the androids were all bad guys, and Bummer was completely different from them. But now that so many people are all gathered here, they don't even see the traces of Son Goku, Vegeta and others, which makes him unbelievable. It's you. Seeing the appearance of Trunks, Boomer also showed a hint of surprise. Immediately afterwards, she seemed to think of something, and quickly looked at Bupa and said, Bupa, he is not a bad person, you must not let Broly shoot him. Boomer could see that Trunks was strong, but they were nothing compared to Broly. The previous son Goku, Vegeta and Son Gohan were also Super Saiyans, but none of them could match Broly. Now that they are fighting alone, if Trunks dares to make a move, they will definitely lose and even risk their lives. He doesn't bother me, and I don't care about his existence. Glancing at Bummer, Bupa said indifferently, and he is your future son Trunks, killing him doesn't mean much to me. What? Trunks. Hearing this, Bummer couldn't help exclaiming, and subconsciously looked at Date who was not far away. Immediately afterwards, her whole body quickly became excited, and she trotted to the area where Trunks and Broly were, and said, Trunks, stop. You are not their opponent, don't make unnecessary sacrifices. This. Seeing this, Trunks was dumbfounded for a while. He didn't care if his identity was exposed. After all, he had already been born at this time. But Bummer's words also made him feel that something was wrong. Broly in front of him, and Bupa not far away seemed to be good things. All right. At this time, Bupa clapped his hands, not caring about the existence of Trunks not far away. His eyes locked on Lazuli and number 16, since you have agreed, then swear your allegiance. Pledge allegiance? Hearing this, the three of Lazuli were stunned, looked at Bupa in confusion, and said, why do you still need to take an oath? After all, Bupa had a domineering and exposed posture before and didn't care about their possible betrayal in the future. But now they are actually asked to swear, which makes Lazuli unable to react for a while. My habit. In this regard, Bupa did not mean to mention the system, and the corner of his mouth rose. Everyone under my command needs to swear allegiance, so that there is a sense of ceremony. It's really bad fun. Curling his lips, number 17 glanced at Bupa with a displeased face, and then said, Lazuli, let's get started. Since you've made up your mind, there's nothing to worry about. It is good. Hearing this, Lazuli also nodded. Immediately afterwards, Sister Lazuli and number 16 stepped forward and said, I will swear allegiance to Lord Bupa to the death. I will swear my allegiance to Lord Bupa. Dot. Ding. Check if someone is loyal and whether the host is bound. At this time, the system prompt sound also resounded in Bupa's ears. Bind. The corners of his mouth rose, and Bupa's eyes flashed, and the corners of his mouth rose slightly. Although the Lazuli brothers and sisters are artificial humans, they cannot improve their limits unlike the 16th. Lazuli sisters and brothers are transformed from human bodies, and they also have the potential to become stronger. Don't you see in Dragon Ball Ultra World, number 17 and number 18 can even fight Sunny Goku in Ultra Blue State. So, Lazuli is also a good potential stock, 
and their improvement is not inferior to anyone in a sense. Thinking of this, Bapu immediately ordered the system, check the information of the three, Lazuli, Race, Android, Combat Strength, 500 million, Loyalty, 75, Lapis, Race, Android, Combat Strength, 500 million, Loyalty, 70, Number 16, Race, Robotic Robot, Combat Strength, 600 million, Loyalty, 81, What? The loyalty of the 16th is so high. After reading the information of the three, Bapa's eyes showed a hint of surprise. The loyalty of the Lazuli siblings is just a point of friendliness, not quite the yet. Bapa is prepared. After all, they have only just met and met, and it is impossible for the two to directly swear allegiance to themselves. But the loyalty of the 16 was beyond Bapa's expectations. How is this possible? This is impossible. How could the androids surrender to the rest? At this moment, there was a sudden cry. Looking at the sound, drunks, who was not far away, stared at this scene with wide eyes and incredible expressions. He couldn't believe what he saw at all. The vicious, artificial man in the future world. Now that he is kneeling on the ground in front of his own eyes and swearing allegiance to the others, this is simply incredible. Humphrey, in response, Broly snorted coldly, glanced at Trunks with disdain, and said, It is their honor to be loyal to my eldest brother. There is nothing impossible. Boy, you are also Saiyan. Do you want to be loyal to my big brother? Maybe the big brother can give pointers to you and make you stronger. You are too weak now, even weaker than Kakarot and Vegeta, and even stronger than the teenage son Goen. Chapter 18 Trunks defeated, the original cell appeared, although I disdain the strength of Trunks. However, Broly also understands Bapa's ambition, that is, to conquer all Saiyans, so as to establish a Justice League belonging to Saiyan to protect the entire universe. Although the Trunks in front of him are weak, they have transformed into Super Saiyans, which are stronger than the 12 Saiyans on the new Vegeta star. If it can be subdued, then Bapa's power can be improved to a certain extent. Impossible. However, Trunks raised his head grimly at the moment, stared at the Lazuli siblings on the ground in the distance, and said, I absolutely don't believe this is true. How can evil androids surrender to the rest? Fake. It's all fake. Unbalanced mentality. Trunks picked up the long sword and once again bullied himself and tried to kill the three of Lazuli. Don't eat and drink a toast, boy. You are courting death. Seeing this, Broly was also angry. I kindly invited you to join, you just don't agree, and now you still want to use force. Do you really think that you are a mess? Without the slightest hesitation, Broly stepped forward and slammed into the trunks. Call out. The sound of breaking through the air resounded, and Broly's huge body appeared in front of trunks. Without giving him a chance to react, his huge fist smashed directly into his face. Not good. When the crisis struck, Trunks' complexion changed greatly, and he could feel the terrifying power contained in Broly's blow. Not caring about anything else, Trunks hurriedly raised the long sword in his hand to block. The next second, Broly's fist slammed on the blade. Bang! The sound of the explosion resounded, and Trunks was instantly knocked out, hitting the mountain wall in the distance. Trunks, seeing this, Bulma cried out in pain. After all, it is his own child, although it is from the future. But mother and child are connected. Now that the trunks have suffered such a heavy blow, how can Boomer not worry? Subconsciously, Bulma stepped forward and wanted to go to the trunks. Bulma, however, before Bulma moved forward, Bupper's indifferent voice resounded not far away. If you dare to leave, then I will let Broly kill the trunks now. Hearing this, Bulma's footsteps were quiet. She knew that Bupper was threatening her, but she didn't dare to gamble. Looking at Bupper, who had an indifferent face, and Broly, who was about to move, Boomer finally chose to give up. After stopping his progress, Bulma looked at the scar trunks in the distance, and said, Trunks, go quickly. You are not their opponent, go find Veg to end them. At this moment, Boomer already understood the result of Trunks' continued stay. Taking advantage of the fact that Bapa has no real intention to kill, she must let Trunks go, otherwise the consequences will be unimaginable. Mum, hearing this, Trunks struggled to stand up not far away, and his expression became extremely complicated at the moment. At this moment, he can also see it. Bummer and Bapa and others are obviously under coercion, but as the son of man, he was helpless at the moment, and even the punch from Broly just now seriously injured him, and he didn't even have much strength to fight again. No, I must get out of here as soon as possible. It is impossible for me to rescue my mother by myself, and it is impossible for me to defeat the guy and android in front of me. Inwardly, although Trunks was not reconciled, he acted decisively, glanced at Boomer and said, Mom, I will definitely come to save you. After speaking, Trunks didn't stay any longer, turned around suddenly and fled outside the cave. Want to go? Seeing this. Broly's eyes flashed with murderous intent. He wasn't going to give up on this existence trying to sabotage Bupper's plan. Broly, that's enough. However, before Broly could catch up, Bupper, who was not far away, was the first to stop him, let him go. After they understand their weakness, they can understand the value and role of hard work. And after all, it's Saiyan who can transform, so I can still give them a chance. Hearing this, Broly's footsteps stopped for a while, and he withdrew his gaze towards Trunks' escape, and then said, I see, 
Big Brother. Immediately afterwards, Broly did not touch the angry state and the super game state, turned around and walked towards the area where Bupper was. Woo. This scene directly made Boomer heave a sigh of relief. Fortunately, Bupper stopped Broly, otherwise the consequences would be unimaginable. Thinking of this, Bummer subconsciously turned to look at where Bupper was, and there was a hint of gratitude in his eyes. However, Bupper didn't care about this either. He turned to look at number 16 and said, Number 16, take me to the underground laboratory, just to take you to see the ultimate android. Underground laboratory. The ultimate android. Hearing this, the Lazuli siblings were taken aback, and their subconscious gazes also turned to number 16. Lapis doesn't know what the ultimate android is. But Lazuli also understands how dangerous this guy is. Thinking of this, Lazuli immediately said, Number 16, do you know where the underground laboratory is? I probably know. After a little pondering, number 16 quickly made a judgment, raised his head and said, Come with me, I hope my memory is not wrong. After speaking, number 16 turned around and walked towards the interior of the laboratory. Seeing this, Bupa didn't hesitate, and with a big hand he took Broly, and Laz Eli and Bummer followed. DA DA DA. The footsteps resounded, and under the leadership of number 16, a group of people quickly arrived at a wall. It should be here. After taking a few glances, number 16 immediately raised his hand, and a group of energy cannons bombarded the wall, rumbling. The explosion resounded. The wall collapsed, and a passage to the ground could be seen at this moment. Found it. Really have. Seeing this, Sister Lazuli's pupils shrank, and their breathing accelerated by three points. At the same time, there is also a little more trust in the information of the ultimate android. Let's go. At this time, Bupper strode toward it. Seeing this, Broly and the others hurriedly followed. But in the blink of an eye, Bupper and his party disappeared on the surface and quickly walked towards the area of the underground laboratory. At this moment, a group of green figures quietly sneaked into the cave. It didn't have any aura fluctuations, it quickly entered the cave, and then swallowed Dr. Jero's body on the ground with its tail, and then left the laboratory without hesitation. Chapter 19 Primitive Cells The Possibility of Super Artificial Humans Soon, Cell withdrew from the cave. Looking around, he quickly found the remnant of number 20 and swallowed it again with his tail. After all this was done, Cell turned his head and glanced at the cave and said, Number 17, Number 18, you will belong to me sooner or later. But that Broly is too strong, and now I am far from his opponent. I have to find a good opportunity. I hope that the sunny Goku of this era will not let me down. When they both lose, everyone will be my nourishment. After that, Cell turned around and quickly disappeared into the surrounding jungle. From the beginning to the end, Cell did not show any breath, just like a ghost walking in the world. Dot underground laboratory. Bupper and his party quickly arrived at the area where the cell culture vessel was located. This is the ultimate android. This is the final product of Dr. Jiro. When they arrived at the place where the vessel was, the Lazuli brothers and sisters all followed to look at the cell body that was only the size of a baby's fist in the vessel, and the eyes were full of strange colors. Unexpectedly, Dr. Dr. Jiro's final android is still just born. What made them even more unexpected was that they were afraid and afraid of such a thing before, and even swore allegiance to Bupper for it which was a huge shame. Waste. Death to me. Under the anger, Lapis directly raised his hand and shot out a ball of Kai Gong. The next second, the Kai Gong bomb bombarded the vessel, rumbling, rumbling. The explosion resounded. The vessel burst, and the cell cells in it fell to the ground. It can be seen that the cells are still beating continuously, even if there is no nourishment from the nutrient solution, it does not mean to die. Disgusting stuff. I still want to deal with my sister and brother. Seeing this situation, Lapis's eyes flashed coldly. And once again the Kai Gong bomb was condensed to destroy it completely. Stop. At this time, Bupper on the side said quietly, Lazuli, Lapis, this cell is also useful to you. It would be a waste to destroy it. Um? Hearing this, the Lazuli siblings were stunned, and subconsciously looked at Bupper's eyes with a hint of puzzlement. However, Bupper didn't sell anything and picked up the cell's blueprint from the side area. Throwing it to the side of Bummer and number 16, Bupper said, in the end. The android needs to devour your siblings to evolve into a complete body. It can be said that the two of you are the nutrients that Dr. Dotjira created for Cell. But no matter the details, you can be the nourishment for the Cell, and the Cell can also be the nourishment for you. This Cell fusion is made from the cells of Kakarot, Vegeta, Piccolo, Frieza, etc. If you two absorb it, it can also evolve into a super artificial person. So, are you sure you want to destroy it now? Super android? Hearing this, the Lazuli siblings were taken aback for a moment and then their breathing became rapid after looking at each other. Super Android. That also means that the strength of his sister and brother can be greatly improved. Although they are strong enough now, we would despise themselves being stronger. Is this true? For a time, Lapis scattered the Kai Gong bomb in his hand and asked, his eyes more focused on number 16. After all, Bupa and others may deceive them. But neither can the Android 16. It is true. In response, number 16 nodded, put down the blueprint in his hand, 
and said, according to the information in this blueprint, both your siblings have the ability to fusion cell cells. And once fusion is completed, you are likely to inherit those special abilities within the cells, such as Saiyan's more and more brave, such as Frieza's universe survivability, such as Piccolo's broken limb rebirth. Sigh. Hearing this, Lazuli and Rabiston took a deep breath and looked at the disgusting cells on the ground, but their eyes were also hot at the moment. This disgusting thing has such value, not only to allow them to evolve into super cyborgs, but even to master the abilities of the Zed warriors. Number 16. Almost instantly, Lapis asked, how to do fusion. As soon as these words came out, Bapa also looked at number 16. It was all just his guess, but now that the number 16 has been confirmed, Bapa knows that his guess was correct. In this way, as long as the Lazuli brothers and sisters evolve into super androids, their strength is bound to soar, and even if they get 10 times the return of their combat power, they will improve by leaps and bounds. I have no idea. However, Number 16 shook his head at this moment, looked at the drawing in a complicated way, and said, There is no such technology on this, and Dr. Dotjiro has not taught me such a technology. If you want to fuse that cell into your body, it will be until you find Dr. Jiro, or Number 21. Speaking of which, a trace of complexity flashed in Number 16's eyes. It is true that he is an artificial human, but his real identity is also made by Dr. Jiro's son as a prototype. It can be said that he is Dr. Jiro's son, and Number 21 is also his mother in a sense. After all, when Dr. Dotjira made him, number 21 was there to assist, and even played a crucial role. The 21st, another android. Hearing this, the Lazuli sisters and brothers exclaimed, their eyes filled with incredible colors. After all, they don't remember seeing number 21, but from the words of number 16 now, it's obviously not fake. That, at this time, Bummer suddenly raised his hand and said, I looked at the drawing. If nothing else, you can fuse the cells on the 17th and 18th, as long as you eat the cells. But I'm not sure if that's the case or not. If I can find number 21, I might be able to clear my doubts. Atilda, hearing this, Bapa and the others looked at Boomer in surprise. Unexpectedly, she actually discovered the secret, and even speculated that eating cell cells can evolve. However, the Lazuli brothers and sisters looked at each other at the moment but did not act. Even if what Bumma said was true, they did not dare to bet anything rashly. All right. At this time, Bapa waved his hand indifferently and said, Number 16, put away the cells on the ground, then take me to 21. Since she's still alive, she must be somewhere on Earth. No matter how we confuse that cell, the key is to find number 21 first. Chapter 20 Future Cell Exposure, Impatient Lazuli Siblings This remark immediately aroused the approval of the Lazuli sisters and brothers. As Bupper said, as long as they find number 21, then they can figure out how to use the cell cells in Fusion's hands, and then they can become a super artificial person, and their strength will be greatly improved. Thinking of this, Lazuli and Lapis both looked at number 16 and said, Number 16. Do you know where number 21 is? Not only them, but also Bapa and Broly looked at number 16 curiously. I probably know some. Facing everyone's inquiries, number 16 pondered for a moment, then quickly raised his head and said, Dr. Jiro left three laboratories back then. What we're in right now is just the confines of one lab, so 21 is likely to be within two other labs. So, if we want to find her, we only need to go to the other two laboratories and we will probably know the trace of number 21. Great. Hearing this, Lazuli sisters and brothers showed joy in their eyes. Being abused by Broly before made them feel a strong crisis. Although they have solved the final android now, they also want to make themselves stronger. In particular, the role of cell cells allows them to have the special abilities of Zed warriors and survive in the universe, which is not something ordinary people can get. Very good. Nodding with satisfaction, Bapa waved his hand and completely destroyed the area of the underground laboratory. After doing all this, Papa looked at number 16 and said, let's lead the way, let's find number 21. It is good. As soon as he agreed, number 16 did not refuse. Immediately, the group left the underground area that was reduced to ruins. Soon, a group of people returned to the ground and walked towards the outside of the laboratory. Ha! Huh. Suddenly, Lazuli seemed to notice something, and he took a step forward and said, Dr. Jiro's body is gone. What's the matter? Isn't he dead? Is he still alive? As soon as these words came out, Broly and others also looked in the direction Lazuli pointed. When he saw the empty ground, Lapis frowned and said, Impossible, I have completely destroyed his courtship before, he can't be alive. It's impossible to live. At this time, Broly glanced at Lapis and said, If that's the case, why did his body disappear? It seems that you don't know him, and you didn't kill each other in the true sense. No, it's impossible. However, Lapis strongly denied it, and said with a face full of unwillingness, I definitely killed him, he can't be alive. It's impossible. It's absolutely impossible. Obviously, Lapis was extremely concerned about the fact that Dr. Jiro might still be alive. After all, Dr. Jiro captured his siblings from childhood to transform them into humanoids. His siblings hated the latter so much that if Dr. Jiro hadn't died, the Lapis siblings would be unacceptable. It stands to reason that Dr. Jiro is dead. At this time, 
Number 16 also quietly said, My transformation is not as good as ours, and there is no infinite energy furnace. It is impossible to survive if the courtship is destroyed. This, hearing this, Brolian Bummer frowned. If it's true as Number 16 said, then the disappearance of Dr. Jero's body is something that shouldn't be. No need to guess. At this time, Bupper waved his hand indifferently, and then said, No accident, it should be Cell who took his body. Since he has been here, not only the body of Dr. Jero, but also the body of Number 20 outside the world should have disappeared. What, Cell? Hearing this, Broly and the others were shocked, subconsciously looking at Bupper's eyes full of wonder. Bupper, especially Lazuli said subconsciously, isn't the cell already killed by us before it was born? How could he be here and take Dr. Jero and corpse number 20? Could it be that there are still cells in the rest of the research laboratories, or even have been conceived? As soon as these words came out, Lapis and number 16 also looked at Bupper. They didn't even understand what was going on. Simple. However, Bupper said indifferently at the moment, that cell should be from the future world. Bummer's son came from the future world, and you have all seen how powerful he is. If the cell from the future world follows, the ability of Trunks will not be able to detect it. Even so, Bupper had to feel the inertia of the plot in his heart. Originally, in the plot, cell will appear soon, and it will even devour many earthlings to become stronger. But now the future cell actually came here ahead of schedule, and also swallowed number 20 and drive Dotjuro. Not surprisingly, after he has completely digested it, his own strength will be improved again even surpassing the current Lazuli siblings. It is so. The cell of the future world. After listening to Bupper's remarks, Broly and the others suddenly nodded. Immediately afterwards, Bummer seemed to have thought of something, and said with a complicated expression, if this is the case, doesn't it mean that the Earth will still be in danger? Earth, with the situation of cell in the future, as long as he seizes the opportunity, it is bound to turn the world upside down. Especially the Lazuli brothers and sisters. Their faces turned even paler at the moment. They can remember what they saw before, if Cell appears in the future. The next target is likely to be their siblings. And now that Dr. Dotjuro and Number 20 have been absorbed by him, I am afraid that his strength will increase a lot again. Number 16. Almost instantly, Lapis said, quickly take us to Number 21. The damn final android, I must destroy it completely. For this kind of existence that threatens his own safety, Lapis will not take it lightly, nor will he sit still. Under the current circumstances, only by finding number 21 and figuring out the key to absorbing Cell can he and Lazuli be able to evolve into super androids, so as not to be afraid of Cell's covetousness. It is good. Nodding his head, number 16 understood the seriousness of the matter at this moment, and immediately said, Come with me. We're going to find number 21 now. Otherwise, if Cell is one step ahead in the future, it is very likely that number 21 will also be absorbed by him. Um, hearing this, Bupper's eyes flashed coldly. If Cell dares to absorb number 21 in the future, it will really ruin his plan. For a while, Bupper didn't intend to continue wasting time. He strode towards the outside of the cave and said, Speed leads the way, we have to find number 21 as soon as possible. Chapter 21 Sad and Angry Zed Warriors The big special came to find Bozy Mountain. Sunny Goku was lying on the hospital bed breathing gradually and evenly, although he had taken the special medicine, he still had not recovered. Woo! Seeing this situation, Piccolo, Krillin and the others also breathed a sigh of relief. Fine. Fortunately, I caught up and took the special medicine. As long as the effect of the medicine is activated, Sunny Goku will be able to recover. Cough cough. Bulma. At this moment, a voice came from outside the house. Looking at the sound, it can be seen that Vegeta, who was lying in the hall, was already sooxing after eating the fairy beans. It's just that at this moment Vegeta's face is extremely ugly, and the whole body is full of violent breath, although in a coma. But Vegeta also remembered everything that happened before, and knew better that Bulma agreed to follow Bupper, and Broly left only to stop the two. Vegeta, Vegeta. At this time, Klin and others also walked out of the house one after another. After arriving in the area where Vegeta was located, seeing that although his face was gloomy but still alive, he was relieved. Piccolo. At this time, Vegeta looked at Piccolo in the crowd, and immediately asked, Where's Boomer? How is she? This, faced with the question, Piccolo hesitated for a moment, then said, Vegeta, Boomer was taken away by those two Saiyans. If she hadn't agreed to leave with her, everyone would have died at the hands of those two Saiyans. But don't worry too much, Saiyan, headed by him, seems to value Bulma's scientific research technology and brains, so it shouldn't be bad for Bulma. Bastard. After hearing this, Vegeta clenched her fists sharply, her eyes full of anger, murderous intent and unwillingness. Not just because Boomer was taken away. The main thing is that he himself is no match for Broly, not even at all. In the end, he relied on Bulma to agree to other people's conditions, and even put himself in danger in exchange for their lives. This double whammy was absolutely unacceptable for Vegeta and even made him unable to calm down. Standing up subconsciously, Vegeta said with a cold expression, Piccolo, tell me where those guys are. You should be able to observe where the breath of those people on Earth is. This, seeing Vegeta who was going to fight with Bupper and Broly with murderous intent, 
Piccolo's expression changed slightly, and he said quickly, Vegeta, you can't just die like this. Those two Saiyans are too strong, just which one of them is called Broly is not your opponent. Not to mention Bappa, who hasn't shot from start to finish, that guy feels more dangerous to me than Broly. As soon as these words came out, Ken and the others on the side nodded. Although they had a bad relationship with Vegeta before, but looking at his worried and angry appearance for Bummer at the moment, Kling and others have also recognized his existence. After looking at each other, Krillin said quickly, Vegeta, the main thing now is to wait for Goku Su crossing. You, Goku and Gohan who has completed the transformation of Super Saiyan, the three of you will be able to save Bulma from those guys together. What? Hearing this, Vegeta's pupils shrank and looked at Krillin in disbelief, the kid's son Gohan turned into Super Saiyan. What about the others? At this moment, Vegeta can't wait to see Son Gohan. If he really completes the Super Saiyan transformation, then the three of them will really have a chance to retake Boomer. Gohan is taking care of the drunks, Piccolo said. Drunks. Hearing this, Vegeta's body froze with anger. He also understood that he was no match for Broly, much less Bappa. Now that he's got trunks to take care of, he really can't get into trouble with Bappa and Broly all of a sudden. Big brother, you are here again. Big brother, why are you injured? At this moment, Son Gohan's voice came from outside the house. For a time, Vegeta and others all changed their expressions and quickly walked out of the house. Looking at the sound, it can be seen that D8 flew down from the air at this moment. Although he escaped before, but Broly's attack still left him seriously injured. It's him. Seeing Dante appear, Vegeta's eyes lit up. He knew that the guy in front of him was also Super Saiyan. With the presence of Sun Goen, they have four Super Saiyans on their side. As long as Sun Goku recovers, it's entirely possible to retake Bulma. Drunks. At this time, Piccolo did not hesitate and quickly took a fairy bin from Krillin and walked forward. After stuffing the fairy bins to D8, Piccolo asked, Drunks, what happened? How did you get hurt so badly? Drunks? Hearing this, everyone present was dumbfounded, including Vegeta, who also stared blankly at D8, never expected that this guy from the future was actually called Drunks. Subconsciously, Vegeta looked at the little trunks in Sun Goen's arms, and the whole person instantly became enlightened. It turned out that this guy from the future was his own son. Thinking of this, Vegeta didn't step up to check the situation at the moment. Gudu. At this time, Date the fairy bean, and the injury of the whole person quickly recovered as before. Cough cough. Coughing in his mouth, D8 opened his eyes and looked at Vegeta and the others in front of him. He looked a little impatient and said, Dad, Brother Goen, Piccolo Uncle is not good, and my mother was taken away. That guy is too strong, and I'm not his opponent at all. If it wasn't for my mother's words to stop it, I would hardly be able to come back alive. Hiss. Hearing this, Vegeta and the others all gasped. No wonder the trunks who were able to transform into Super Saiyan were injured so badly, it turned out to be the two Saiyans who captured Boomer. Drunks. Almost instantly, Vegeta asked, tell me where did you meet them, and who did those two guys? How strong is the power? At this moment, Vegeta was extremely aggrieved. Before, he and Son Goku were all crushed together, which made him extremely unwilling. Not only him, including Son Goen, Piccolo and others are all looking straight at trunks at the moment. After all, Bappa and Broly didn't have any news after they took Bulma. Now that the trunks have met them, they might be able to figure out some information. Ah, seeing this, D8 was a little dumbfounded. He is not an idiot, and it can be seen from the reactions of Vegeta and others that they know this. Coupled with the existence of bandages on Vegeta's body, it is obvious that the previous battle has been defeated. Chapter 22 Sunny Goku's Plan, The Impatient Vegeta For a time, Trunks' mood was heavier than ever. By now, he had already seen that the situation was not right, and subconsciously clenched his fists and said, Dad, the one who fought with me is called Broly, and I am not his opponent at all. Click. Hearing this, Vegeta and the others clenched their fists. Broly, it's an absolute nightmare for all of them. Even Piccolo, Kling et al. Son Goku, Vegeta and Son Gohan lost because of their lack of strength, but they didn't even have the courage to fight one. Not to mention a bupper. An existence that has never been shot but feels even more unfathomable. Gohan, Gohan. At this moment, there was a sound from inside the house. Looking at the sound, Chichi hurriedly walked out of the house looking a little excited, Goku is awake, Goen, come in, Goku is looking for you, dad is awake, Kakaratsuk sing, old son is awake, hearing this, Vegeta, son Goen and others were overjoyed, they didn't even bother to ask Trunks anything, and hurriedly ran towards the house, seeing this, Trunks hesitated for a while, but quickly followed, he doesn't think that he is Broly's opponent alone, nor does he think that he can defeat Bappa and others to save Bummer and kill the androids, Goku, old grandson, dad, at this time, Son Goen and the others had already entered the room, looking at Son Goku, who had already struggled to stand up from the bed, with a hint of joy in everyone's eyes. Immediately afterwards, Vegeta stepped forward and said, Kakarot, you finally woke up. How long will it take to fully recover? Those guys haven't left the earth, just defeat them to save Bulma. Hearing this, Son Goku glanced at the impatient Vegeta, and then said with a serious expression, 
I'm almost recovering. That special medicine has cured my heart disease. Go and give me a fairy bin. Okay, Dad. With a promise, Son Gohan quickly took out a fairy bin and handed it to Son Goku. After eating the fairy bean, Son Goku's expression also returned to normal, no longer the weak expression before. Immediately afterwards, Son Goku sat up from the hospital bed, looked at Vegeta and said, Vegeta, we can't go to them now. I've tried it before. And even if I cast the Kaioken ten times, I can't beat Broly. Not to mention the existence of a Bupper in addition to Broly. As soon as these words came out, the audience fell silent. The emotions of the people who were still happy at the moment were instantly suppressed. Especially Vegeta. His own woman was taken away, but he couldn't do anything about it, which made him extremely unwilling. Kakarot, gritting her teeth, Vegeta raised her head and said, You should be able to last a while against Broly. Me. Sun Gohan and the Trunks deal with that bupper and should be able to take it down. Even if it can't be defeated, it's enough to save Bulma. Hearing this, Sun Gohan and the others suddenly lit up. If according to Vegeta, then they do have a chance. Dad, no way. We can't save Mommy. At this moment, Trunks stepped forward and said, It's not just the two Saiyans now. When I found them before, three powerful cyborgs had surrendered to bupper. The breath of those three androids is extremely powerful and they make me feel stronger than me who transformed into Super Saiyan. What? Three androids stronger than Super Saiyan. Hearing this, Vegeta and the others were dumbfounded. Son Goku, who was originally ready to agree, also fell silent. Unexpectedly, there will be three androids that are not inferior to Super Saiyan, and they are all loyal to Bupper. As a result, the Bupper side has significantly more numbers, and even the intensity is definitely not comparable to them. For a time, the atmosphere in the entire room was obviously more depressed. All right, I've already thought of a solution. At this time, Sunny Goku was the first to come back to his senses, and then he looked at Vegeta and the others in the area next to him and said, I know a place that can quickly improve our strength. Rapidly increase strength. Hearing this, not only Vegeta, Sun Gohan and Trunks, but also Piccolo and others on the side were all curious. After all, Sunny Goku's confident appearance at the moment doesn't seem to be deceiving. Subconsciously, Vegeta asked, Kakarot. Where is it, Skyline? Without selling off, Sun Goku directly stated his plan, there is a time house within the heavens. After cultivating in the time house for a year, the outside world will only pass one day. According to what the gods said, a person can only enter it for two years of cultivation in a lifetime, and only two people can enter it at a time. But as long as we seize the opportunity and enter it two by two, we can quickly make ourselves stronger. Broly is stronger than us, because his normal combat power is stronger. If our normal combat power surpasses him, then transforming into Super Saiyan will definitely be able to defeat them. One day outside, one year inside. There is still such an area in the heaven. After listening to Sun Goku's narration, Vegeta and others were all refreshed. Two years. If they enter the time house to practice for two years, their strength will definitely undergo earth-shaking changes. And the outside world has only been in the past two days, even if Papa and others have taken action. It is impossible to leave so soon. Thinking of this, Vegeta immediately said, Then what are you waiting for? Let's go to heaven now. Drunks follow me, we'll go to the heaven to practice first, and then we'll save your mother. After speaking, Vegeta didn't stay any longer, turned around and hurriedly walked outside the house. Dad, wait for me. Seeing this, Trunks hurriedly shouted and chased after him, and this scene Sun Goku and others had a panoramic view, but they did not stop anything. After Vegeta and his son left, Sun Goku turned his head to look at Piccolo and said, Piccolo, you should also go to heaven first. Gohan and I are going in two days. You ask the gods to help pay attention to Bupper. Broly, and the others in the celestial realm. As long as they don't leave Earth within this time, then we can get stronger and save Bulma. It is good. Hearing this, Piccolo nodded, stood up and said, Old son, then you should rest first. I'm going to talk to the old guy. Some things can't be delayed. After that, Piccolo didn't stay, turned around and left Bazashan in a hurry. Chapter 23 number 21 appears, Super No. 13. Call out. Call out. On the other side of the world. Bupa and others successfully arrived at a virgin forest under the leadership of number 16. Soon after flying into it, they came to a research room hidden in the valley. It's here. Looking down, number 16 pointed to the area on the ground not far away and said, This is the location of another research laboratory of Dr. Jiro. And unlike another laboratory that was destroyed by Son Goku, the concealment here is better. If there is no accident, number 21 is likely to be there. Hearing this, Bupa smiled. The 21st is among them, which is definitely good news for him. However, he also understands that androids can cover up their breath and even become exactly like ordinary people. Therefore, the top priority now is to ensure that there are no other exits for this research room. Thinking of this, Bapu immediately asked, Number 16, can this laboratory exist at the other exits? There is a hidden opening. Nodding his head, Number 16 pointed to a mountain not far away. There is a tunnel at the top of the mountain that leads directly to it. Very good. After receiving the information from Number 16, Bapu nodded in satisfaction then looked at Broly beside him and said, 
Broly, you and number 16 go to the entrance area and wait. If anyone comes out of it take it down. Yes, sir. Hearing this, Broly nodded, not disobeying Bupa's orders, although he also likes to fight. But the purpose of coming to Earth this time is more for Sunny Goku. He had already defeated Sunny Goku before, but he didn't have the urge to fight at this moment. Number 16, let's go. Almost instantly, Broly spoke up. Hearing this, number 16 did not hesitate, and immediately floated behind him taking Broly to the secret road at the top of the mountain. After the two left, Bupa's eyes followed to the door of the research room, and the corners of his mouth raised, Lazuli, Lapis, you go. Let me see if that number 21 is really among them. It is good, with a promise. The Lazuli siblings looked at each other, and immediately flew towards the laboratory door. When they reached the area of the gate, the Lazuli siblings raised their hands and a ball of energy bombs flew out, hitting the gate directly. Rumbling, rumbling, the sound of the explosion resounded and the door of the laboratory burst open at this moment. Immediately afterwards, the Lazuli brothers and sisters broke into it directly, and the continuous explosions resounded continuously. Seeing this, Bupa nodded in satisfaction, and immediately descended from the sky with Bulma. After he floated to the ground, Bupa let go of Bulma from his embrace and said indifferently, follow. After he finished speaking, he walked towards the laboratory. In this scene, Bulma's expression was complicated. She knew very well that the Bupa in front of her was not a good person, but under such circumstances, she couldn't resist or disobey. After all, she was just an ordinary woman, and there was no possibility of her escaping. Thinking of this, Bulma immediately followed suit. Dot. The 21st. At the same time, deep in the laboratory, the figure of Super Number 13 hurriedly came to Number 21. Glancing at Number 21, who was lying there remodeling himself, Super Number 13 quickly said, Someone broke in. It's Number 17 and Number 18. They should be trying to do something to you. Hearing this, Number 21 frowned, looking up at the Super Number 13 in front of him. The corner of his mouth rose and said, It's just right. That guy Dr. Dotjaro stole my research results and even knocked me unconscious. Unfortunately, he never knew that you were created by me, and now he has devoured the androids number 1 to 15, and has evolved into a near complete ultimate android. But you also have a huge flaw, that is, there is no infinite energy furnace in your body. There are infinite energy furnaces in number 17 and number 18. You can kill them and devour them, and then you can evolve into a real complete body. It is good. Hearing this, Super number 13's eyes flashed, and he nodded immediately and said, I will devour them. Number 21, when the time comes, you and I will both be the ultimate androids. With that said, Super number 13 took a deep look at number 21 before turning around and walking towards the outside world. Cut, disobedient child. Looking at the back of Super number 13 leaving, number 21 raised the corner of his mouth slightly, looking at his almost perfect body, a playful smile formed on the corner of his mouth. But soon, number 21 also stopped smiling picked up a syringe from the side and said, only the last step, Jiro, you still lost to me in the end. My android plan is the most perfect, and yours is just a defective product. Saying that, number 21 directly stuck the syringe on her arm, and she injected a cloud of turbid green liquid into her body. What? With a scream, number 21's body kept shaking, and it could be seen that his body was dripping with sweat, and the whole person lay there with a look of enjoyment and comfort. In the area next to her, several supercomputers were running continuously and it could be seen that countless data entered into number 21's body through the data cable. Surprisingly, she was making the final transformation of herself. Dot. At the same time, the Lazuli brothers and sisters destroyed various experimental objects and semi-finished products along the way and also arrived at the deep area of the laboratory. Seeing a gate ahead blocking it, Lazuli raised his hand to destroy it. Click. Suddenly, a voice resounded. It can be seen that the closed door was opened at this moment. Immediately afterwards, the figure of Super Number 13 walked out slowly. What? Who are you? Seeing the figure of Super 13, the Lazuli siblings looked at each other and immediately asked. They can both see that the other is an artificial human. But they had never seen this android before, which made Lazuli and his brother feel a little uneasy. Number 17. Number 18. With a grin, Super 13's eyes swept across the Lazuli brothers and sisters, and a trace of greed flashed in his eyes. Heaven has a way, you don't go. Hell has no door, you break in, and you all have to die here today, as long as I devour you, then I can grow into a true ultimate body. And then there will be no one on earth who can be my opponent. Devour us, the ultimate body. Hearing this, Sister Lazuli's expressions sank, and in an instant, they looked at Super 13 seriously and said, Are you the cell created by Dr. Jiro? Chapter 24 The Lazuli sisters and brothers lost, the terrifying Super No. 13 They couldn't bear to guess so. After all, the latter shouted to devour them and also evolved into the ultimate body. Isn't this what Cell is? Cell? Raising his brows, Super Number 13 looked at the Lazuli siblings in confusion and said, What is that? I am the strongest android. Super 13. Super 13? The strongest android. Hearing this, 
The Lazuli sisters and brothers looked at each other, completely unaware that there was another super android other than Cell. And from super number 13, they also felt a sense of oppression. This also means that the latter really has the power to surpass his siblings. D A D A D A tilde. At this moment, footsteps resounded. Bupa walked in with Boomer. Hey, super number 13. Seeing the figure facing Lazuli sister and brother, Bupa's eyes showed a trace of confusion. If he remembers correctly, this super number 13 is a character who appeared in the theatrical version. How come here now? And it seems to be with number 21. This is really incredible. And according to records, this super number 13 is the strongest android other than the complete cell. According to calculations, even if the latter's strength is not as good as that of a complete cell, it is at least comparable to the second form of cell. Thinking of this, Bapu immediately issued an order, system, check the information of super number 13. The next second, the translucent panel appeared, and the information of Super 13 appeared in front of Bupper's eyes. Super number 13, race, android, combat index, 1.5 billion, 1.5 billion combat power. This is really not to be underestimated. After reading the information of Super 13, Bupper's eyes showed a hint of surprise. You know, the 16th is only worth about 600 million combat power. In the future, even if Cell absorbs the strength of number 19 and number 20, it will be almost the same as number 16. But this super number 13 has a full combat power of 1.5 billion. If this allows him to meet the future cell, I am afraid that he will not only be able to hang him, but also be able to devour the cell in reverse to strengthen himself. Lazuli, Lapis, come back. You are not his opponent. At this time, Bup raised his head and said, knowing the strength index of super number 13, he knew very well that the Lazuli siblings could not be his opponents, rather than risk being swallowed up by the two of them fighting against him it is better for him to do it himself, not his opponent. Hearing this, Lazuli frowned and took a few steps back subconsciously. She still has a lot of trust in Bupper, and since the latter said so, she doesn't think she is the opponent of Super 13. In addition, the latter seems to want to absorb her siblings, so she doesn't want to die rashly. Impossible. However, Lapis did not step back at the moment, and did not believe Bupper's judgment. How can this ugly monster be my opponent? Master Bupper, wait for me, I will definitely defeat him. After that, Lapis didn't give Bupper a chance to react and swooped on the ground and dived to attack the area where Super 13 was. Caught death. Seeing this, Super Number 13 showed a trace of disdain in his eyes, and with a flick of his body, he avoided Lapis's attack. Immediately afterwards, Super Number 13 punched and slammed directly on Lapis's lower abdomen. What? With a scream, blood spurted out of Lapis's mouth, and the whole person was knocked out like a kite with a broken string, and the target was directly at Lazuli. Not good. Seeing this, Lazuli didn't dare to neglect and quickly stepped forward to catch Lapis. However, Lapis' speed was too fast, coupled with the strength of Super 13's blow. His figure instantly hit Lazuli's body. With a loud bang, blood spilled from the corner of Lazuli's mouth, and he flew out with himself and Lapis, and smashed into the area beside Bupper. Under the suppression of the Absolute Combat Power Index, the Lazuli brothers and sisters who could crush Son Goku and others in this era were defeated like this. Sigh, so strong. This scene directly made Bulma exclaim looking at Super Number 13 not far away with horror. She knows how powerful the Lazuli siblings are, even stronger than Sunny Goku who turned into Super Saiyan. But now he has lost all of a sudden, which shows how terrifying this Super Number 13 is. Cough cough. At this time, the Lazuli siblings struggled to stand up from the ground. Staring at Super Number 13 not far away, Lapis burst with some mentality. Impossible. It's also an artificial man. How can he be so powerful? Not only him. But also Lazuli's face was full of disbelief. Even though Bapa had said before that they were not rivals, Lazuli couldn't accept such a huge gap. He is a super cyborg. And you are naturally not opponents. Seeing this, Bapa shook his head and said, unless you also evolve into super androids, you can't be his opponent. This super number 13 has a combat power of about 1.5 billion, while your sister and brother's combat power is only about 500 million and there is no comparison at all. 1.5 billion combat power. So terrifying. After listening to Bupp's story, the Lazuli sisters and brothers shrank their pupils, and their unwillingness disappeared at this moment. Their combat power is only about 500 million. But the countermeasures surpassed them by a full three times, which is not comparable at all. For a time, Lapis was extremely embarrassed. Thinking of what he had sworn to say before, I only felt ashamed for a while. Say Ian, you want to stop me too? At this time, Super Number 13 stepped forward glanced at Lazuli's sister and brother, and then gathered on Bupper's body. His eyes were full of contempt and disdain. He could see that Bupper's combat power was only about 100 million, not as good as Lazuli's siblings, and would not be his opponent. Stop you? Glancing at Super 13, Bupper said with a trace of disdain in his eyes, you're not worthy of being my opponent. Super 13, I am King Saiyan Bupper, and now I give you a chance to pledge allegiance. Submit to me, or die here, you make a choice. As soon as these words came out, 
The audience fell silent. Sister Lazuli and Bummer looked at Bupper, who was domineering, and couldn't believe that he was so domineering. Even if the opponent is the super number 13 with a full combat power of 1.5 billion, he does not take it seriously. How arrogant is this? What a conceit. Submission or death? With a cold smile, super number 13 looked Bupper up and down for a moment, and then a grin appeared on the corner of his mouth. I choose the third option. Kill you devouring 17th and 18th. Chapter 25 Killing Super Number 13 Number 21 flees. After finishing speaking, Super 13 no longer hesitated, and as soon as he stepped on the ground, he attacked towards Bupa. Bupa, be careful. Bupa, watch out. Seeing this, the Lazuli siblings exclaimed subconsciously, the strength of Super Number 13 is obvious to all. Even though Bupa is full of confidence, it still makes people worried. After all, although they had seen Broly's strength, they had never seen Bupa take action in person. Wrong selection. Ignoring the shouts of the Lazuli brothers and sisters, Bupa looked at the attacking Super Number 13, his eyes flashed coldly, so, the king will give you death. With that said, Bupa's thoughts moved, and he immediately activated Super Saiyan to transform. Ha! With a low growl resounding, Bupa directly entered the Super Saiyan form. In an instant, Bupa's strength changed from 100 million to 5 billion. The next second, Bupa raised his hand and grabbed the attacking Super 13 by the neck. The terrifying power was activated, and Bupa swayed, pulling the Super 13 and turning around 180 degrees. With a loud bang, the dust rose, and Super Number 13 was directly pressed to the ground by Bupa. Sigh. This scene directly made Lazuli siblings and Bummer couldn't help taking a deep breath. Powerful. Too strong. Super Number 13 has a combat power of 1.5 billion. But now, to be suppressed by Bupa all at once, without even the slightest resistance, is shocking. Super Saiyan. He can really transform into Super Saiyan. Opening her mouth, Bummer looked at Bupa in a complicated way, her eyes full of despair. Originally a Broly was enough to make people desperate. Now that Bupa is so terrifying, how can Son Goku, Vegeta and others resist it? As a result, she has little chance of escaping Bupa's grasp, and little chance of successfully leaving. So strong. Is this his true strength? Staring blankly at this scene, Lazuli opened his mouth and his beautiful eyes were full of shock and brilliance at the moment. Such a powerful existence is a fatal attraction for any woman. Not to mention that Lazuli, who is an artificial human and respects strength, now looks at Bupa with tender and adoring eyes. The difference is so huge. The existence of 1.5 billion combat power is not his enemy of unity. The corners of Lapis' mouth twitched, looking at Bupa as if seeing a monster. For nothing else, the latter is really too powerful. I thought that my siblings would have the possibility of defeating Broly after they evolved into super cyborgs and the possibility of escaping from Bupa's control. But judging from the strength that Bupa is showing at the moment, this is almost impossible, and the two sides are not on the same level at all. It's impossible. On the ground, Super 13 was suppressed and unable to move, growling in his mouth, constantly struggling to break free from Bupa's control. However, the reality is cruel. Bupa's strength is more than 5 billion, how can it be comparable to the mere Super number 13? Boom, boom. At this moment, a roar came from the outside world. In the next second, Bupa felt Broly's anger going wild outside. At the same time, another unfamiliar roar emerged, very similar to the Lazuli brothers and sisters, and it was obviously the fluctuation of an artificial human. The 21st, with a flash of light in his eyes, Bupa raised the corner of his mouth and said, it seems that she has already sensed the situation here and wants to escape from here secretly. But unfortunately, all of this is within my calculations, and she has no possibility of escaping. Thinking of this, Bupa immediately turned his head and said, Lazuli, Lapis, you guys go out to help Broly, get me number 21 and bring it here as soon as possible. Remember, capture number 21 alive, you can't kill her, she is of great use to me. Yes, apostrophe. Yes, looking at each other. The Lazuli siblings nodded hurriedly at this moment. Seeing the strength of Bupa, the Lazuli sisters and brothers no longer have much resistance in their hearts. So, facing Bupa's orders, the siblings turned around without the slightest hesitation and galloped out of the cave. No, how could number 21 escape alone? However, the super number 13 on the ground at this moment is also unbelievable, and it is extremely difficult to accept the fact that number 21 abandoned him and escaped. Nothing is impossible. With a cold smile, Bupa glanced at super 13 and said, you are just one of her works. Even if you die, she can make more super androids. So, do you think she will rush out to die for you? As soon as these words came out, Super number 13 on the ground was struck by lightning. Even if he couldn't believe it in his heart, he couldn't refute anything when the facts were in front of him. For a time, the struggling movements of Super 13 slowed down a lot, and it was obvious that he had become desperate. Feel good about yourself. It seems that you have a lot of human side. Looking at this scene, Bupa's eyes flashed with a hint of play. If it wasn't for Super 13's unwillingness to surrender, he really planned to give him a chance. However, under the current circumstances, Bupa would not give him any chance and his chi appeared and locked directly on the body of Super 13. 
no tilde apostrophe. When the crisis of death came, super number 13's pupils shrank. At this moment, he was completely frightened, and quickly said, I'm willing to surrender to you. I'm willing to be your subordinate, don't kill me. Obviously, number 21's betrayal made super number 13 completely desperate, and with the threat of death, he did not dare to continue to be tough. Submit to me, you don't have this chance anymore. However, Bubba didn't agree with this either. The chi in his hand gathered more, and his voice was cold, final flash. The next second, the final flash burst. The golden gas spurt directly covered the body of super number 13. What? The screams resounded, and it could be seen that under the attack of the final flash, the body of super 13 was annihilated at a speed visible to the naked eye. In just a few breaths, super number 13 was completely dead, including the courtship that collapsed under the final flash attack, and not even a bit of ashes remained. With the previous lessons that the 20th and 19th were swallowed by the future cell, Bupper will not leave the corpse for the future cell to swallow the chance and possibility of evolution. You killed him? Why? At this time, Bummer looked at Bupper in disbelief and said, He has already chosen to surrender, why did you kill him? If you like this audiobook, subscribe the channel for more videos like this and join my Patreon if you want to support me. Leave some comment and let me know if you guys like this story or you have a web novel you like and want to hear its audiobook, I will be happy to create them for you. Please like, share, and leave a comment on the video.